Too fat. She shall be fat and he said, my wife is too slim. She shall be like a palm tree. He said, she is too short. Lo, I am with you. Whichever way. Watch the life-transforming messages of David Ibiomir on salvation, healing, marriage, success, prosperity, and lots more. The entrance of his world. When you are able to gather the appropriate scripture, and light comes from that scripture, darkness can't have power and the light shined in the darkness and darkness comprehended it but when you have God's word in any area and you are able to take in that word into you darkness will just walk away including them simply head over to YouTube at David underscore Ibiomir new videos drop every Monday to Friday subscribe like and comment and embrace a revolutionary encounter in your destiny this time is not a time to waste again everybody cut your coat according to availability of cloth not according to your size but your size will be bigger than the cloth your child's growth depends on an investment in knowledge the right knowledge wholesome and systematic salvation ministries wisdom bank provides a wide collection of children's godly and creative materials enriched to build a generation of kingdom giants who will transform the world through kingdom character and excellence. With a collection of children bibles, story books, character molding books, spiritual growth materials, animations, activity books, and learning resource materials, the Wisdom Bank is committed to raising kingdom leading lights Increase a child's wisdom today by visiting the Wisdom Bank at SMHOS headquarters. Hallelujah! You're joyful to be in this Easter celebration service. Why not give the Lord the big, big shout of praise? Hallelujah! For those at the global headquarters who believe the God of David has blessed you with mouth-watering testimonies, kindly go behind the success door. There are pastors and officials waiting to document your testimonies. God was in Matthew chapter 28, verse 6. For he is not here, he is risen, just as he said. We will lift up our voice and appreciate God for the gift of Jesus Christ. God gave to humanity. Lift your voice and appreciate him. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you for the gift you've given to us. Lord, we give you the glory in Jesus' mighty name. He's a faithful God. Give God thanks. Lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord. Because of whom you are, I give you glory. Because of whom you are, I give you praise. Because of whom you are, I release my voice to say.
ready to praise God, make a joyful noise. Lord, you are good. You are glorious. You are excellent in all your ways. Father, you are good.
clap to Jesus, you may please be comfortably seated in God's presence. In Papa's book, it is finished. Papa said, say to yourself, it is finished. He went further to say, you will not be a victim of anything Jesus finished with on the cross. Jam your hands to the glory of God as we invite the following testifiers to share their testimonies. Asukewe Ikowaji, Venessa Tominu. While they come, listen to the following information. A very warm welcome to Easter service. Good news. In preparation for April Week of Spiritual Empowerment 2024 with the theme, Wisdom for Greater Exploits, there will be Global Mass Evangelism on Saturday, 6th April 2024 at the Global Headquarters and all her branches. Prayers will be transmitted at 8 a.m. Please come with your cars. That prescription for sound Christian life is the Word of God. Salvation Word of Life Bible Institute presents High International Basic Certificate course for the month of April 2024. Basic Certificate course will be both live and online for countries with GMT plus one or minus one time zones to participate. Nigeria inclusive. Pastors hosting Bible school should please announce at their branches. School begins on Monday 8th and ends Friday 19th of April 2024. Please note, school fee scholarship is available for students who cannot afford it. For registration, visit worldby.smhos.org or call any of the numbers as displayed. Visit the Knowledge Center or e-store at smhos.com immediately after the fourth service to obtain today's message and all the messages in hard copy and flash drive. Or subscribe to our money collections on MP3 and DVD. Amongst the materials are message, Commanding Abundance in Scarcity, March 2024, Week of Spiritual Empowerment, Glory Rain 2024, MP3 and DVD. Books, Manifesting God's Glory, Holy Spirit Consciousness, Wonders of His Grace, Knowing the Person of the Holy Spirit, The Helper of the Helpless, Walking in the Anointing, and Holy Spirit, My Helper. 
In a character-retarding world, Wisdom Bank provides resource materials designed to facilitate learning, mold, and shape your children's character to reflect Christ. Visit the Wisdom Bank to acquire the materials that will distinguish your children or call the number as displayed. To commit to kingdom advancement and expansion, please refer to the detailed information on your screen. Also for profit offerings, send your seed to the account as displayed. Those desiring to build worship centers in any of the categories displayed on the screen, please call the Global Missions Office on any of the numbers as displayed. As part of our Children's Day Celebration 2024, the Children Ministry announces Leading Lights essay competition for children between ages 5 to 11. This is to inspire and harness the creativity of our children. Parents and guardians are to visit smhos.org slash leading lights to register their children or pick the forms at their various branches. Registration ends on Sunday, 7th April 2024. For further inquiry, call any of the numbers as displayed. Okma International Academy in Fan Junior and College announces admission into pre-kindergarten primary 1 to 5 and year 7 GSS 1 for 2024-2025 academic session. Applicants are to fill and submit an online application form at okma.org.ng. Note, applicants for the college must be 10 years by September 2024. For entrance examination, dates, venues and all the details, please visit okma.org.ng or call any of the numbers as displayed. In the fourth service today, there are a thanksgiving prayer for those who are born, those who got married, and those who gave their lives to Christ in March. Note, please come with your friends and well-wishers for the thanksgiving, and thereafter, do your reception. There will be service group prayers on Friday, 5th of April, 2024, for sanctuary units at the Kingdom Arena for those at the Global Headquarters at 5 p.m. All concerned should fast before coming. Water baptism holds immediately after this service, while live foundation class for new converts and believers holds tomorrow Monday by 5 p.m. and on Saturday by 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. respectively at the Global Headquarters and all our branches globally. The class is designed to give you stability in your Christian adventure. Please come with your writing materials. To receive daily prayers, prophecies, and wisdom quotes for living, like, share, and follow David Ibiomi on Facebook, at David Ibiomi on Instagram, at David underscore Ibiomi, X at David Ibiomi. Enjoy yourself in God's presence. God bless you. Your name and testimony. My name is Vanessa Tomini. I've got to give God a grace for, exem for exemption from accident. While we are coming to church this morning, uh, the car we booked had um, brake failure. So the car took us from Total Village down to um, Boric Camp. And nothing happened. My mom was shouting, Peace be still in the name of Jesus. After that, nothing happened. We didn't have any acid. I got to give God the glory. Your name and your testimony. My name. I swear we call Some years ago, during the business hour, while Papa was teaching, an idea came into my mind. When I left, I decided to go out of this zone and went and discussed this matter with another governor in another zone. He bought the idea. And we signed the contract for four years. Two years after the contract, the evidence began to show a state was like number four to the poorest state, move from number four to number six. Because it's not, I'm not from there, the people start fighting. Some of them, professors, I don't know where they are now. Some of them, their names appear in the list of fake professors. I told God, I said, you are in this business, you have a share. And I never deny you a share. I'm not going to talk to anybody again. I increase my seed. I increase my offering. I also increase my going out for evangelism. The contract expired November last year. I refused to talk to anybody. I kept quiet. They didn't also tell me to pack out. Only last week, I was called that the governor has directed that the contract should be renewed for another four years. I come to give God all the glory. Same God is here to give you our testimonies. Shall we rise to our feet and return the glory back to God? Faithful Father, to you we return all the glory. You are the doer. Thank you, faithful Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
You may please be seated. Jam your hands to the glory of God as we invite the leading lights for their presentation. On behalf of Children Church Headquarters, we want to appreciate Papa for the privilege to minister on this exalted altar. We also want to thank you, Mama, for your unending love and prayers. Thank you very much. You're welcome to Leading Light Tales at Dawn. Wonderful. Yes, please. Daniel. Yes, please. Wonderful. Divine. Yes, please. Jesse. I have a story for you on resurrection, victory, and celebration, taken from Matthew 28, verses 1 to 10. Early on a Sunday morning, as the new day was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went out to visit the tomb of Jesus Christ. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord had appeared, rolled aside the stone, and sat on it. The two guards shook with fear as they fell into a dead faint, for his face shone like lightning, and his garment was as white as snow. Don't be afraid, the angel said, for I know you have come to look for Jesus Christ, who was crucified. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead, just as he told you he would, and is ahead of you to Galilee. Go, do not forget what I have said, and tell his disciples. Filled with joy and fear, the two Marys ran as their feet could carry them, told the disciples, and were on their way to Galilee. Jesus found them, greeted them, as they lay at his feet to worship him. Don't be afraid. Jesus said, for I told you I'd rise again. On the third day, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, went out to visit the last resting place of Jesus Christ. Having witnessed the weeping, crying, and crucifixion of their friend, teacher, and savior, their hearts heavy with grief. Would they be able to withstand the earth-shaking news that after his crucifixion, his body was nowhere to be found in the tomb? He isn't here. He is risen from the dead. Having noticed that their friend was in Galilee, the two Marys ran, and as they ran, they couldn't believe the multitude of believers that followed behind them, for his love had conquered them and will continue to conquer all. Now, I believe you understood the story I told you, and you have some questions for me. Wonderful. Who sat on the stone? The angel of the Lord sat on the stone. Divine. When did Mary and the other Mary go to visit the tomb of Jesus Christ? It was on an early Sunday morning as the new day was dawning. Jesse. Who told them not to be afraid? It was the angel of the Lord that told them not to be afraid. Daniel. Who told Mary and Mary Magdalene not to forget? It was the angel of the Lord that told them not to forget. Do you have any moral lessons for me? Wonderful. Miracles are real. Jesse. We should have faith. He rose to guarantee our freedom from sickness and grief. He rose to terminate all diseases. He is alive. He is still alive. <laughs> Hallelujah. Happy, Happy Easter!
praise. Be thou exalted in Jesus' mighty name. Please have your seat in God's presence. We are taking prayers in this section, Revelation 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, Acts 9, verse 31. Then had the churches rest and were edified, and walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Ghost were multiplied. Use the blood of Jesus Christ to clear Satan from attacking the success of our four awesome services this celebration season and beyond. Decree all around rest and success. Rest your feet and pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, for this purpose, Jesus was manifested to destroy the works of the devil by the blood of Jesus. We come against any attempt of the devil to attack the success of our services today. This is a point of contact. Any attempt of the devil to attack our worship centers, to stand up in street for ministry of killing and destruction, whatever be the devices against the success of our service today, by the blood of Jesus, we destroy, we nullify such work of the devil, any attack whatsoever against the weather or our transmission equipment by the blood of Jesus we destroy some devices of the devil whatever be the devices of the devil to attack the souls of our service today we nullify them all, they shall not stand they shall not come to pass, I will walk and who shall hinder it, by the blood of Jesus we declare and declare all the us to do our service today shall be successful we decree peace, we decree rest we decree quietness in the battles today in the name of Jesus Colossians 2 verse 14 Blotting out the high writing of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross. Psalm 91 verse 10, There shall no evil before thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. With the blood of Jesus Christ, wipe off every evil program against journey worshippers and salvation ministries, this celebration season and beyond. Decree that none will be victimized or attacked through any means. Pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, for no weapon formed or fashion against all generally called salvation we shall prosper by the blood of Jesus. We nullify any program of evil against all coming and returning from our service today. Any attempt of the devil to attack anyone coming from our services with any form of evil, accident, death, kidnapping, whatever be the defense of the devil, by the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, we destroy, we nullify such work of the devil. He said, the road of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Anyone planning to attack us by the blood of Jesus, we decree God's judgment upon them and we declare and declare no one coming for our service will be victimized in any way. No one is permitted to be attacked. The blood preserve us in the name of Jesus. I appreciate the Lord is worthy. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's welcome officials to share testimonies from our life and online churches. Salvation Ministries Church, beside Share Filling Station, Crowform Road, Airport Roundabout, the Kemso, Kumasi, Ashanti region, Ghana, from Victor Onoha. For the past two weeks, I was very sick. I took the recommended drugs, but there was no improvement. This affected my business and my family. Our resident pastor prayed for me, and the church helped us in many ways. He encouraged us to attend the communion service on Thursday, 21st of March, 2024. In spite of my body weakness, we obeyed, came to church, and I partook of the communion and keyed into every prayer by Pastor David Ibiomie. To the glory of God, I am completely healed and very sound. Thank you, Jesus. Testimony from Pastor Adeola Adeolu, Federal University of Campina Grande, Patos Campus, Brazil. For years, I have trusted God for a scholarship abroad. In 2022, my wife introduced me to Salvation Ministries, and I started following God's servant online and by his teachings. I engaged in kingdom investment practices by sowing into his life, the cathedral, and some other ongoing building projects in the body of Christ. Even in difficulty, I continued, and God showed up. Out of over 4,000 applicants, the Brazilian government gave me scholarship to understudy beef production. I am currently in Brazil, and I have completed all my documentations from a monthly salary of about of just above a hundred thousand naira to over three thousand Brazilian rias, that is eight hundred and fifty thousand naira. Thank you, Lord. Salvation Ministries Church, number twenty-eight, Rumo Kalagwa Road, Bosakot, River State, Nigeria, from Joanna Abubaka, on Sunday, March third, twenty twenty-four. 
I was quicking to pray against an accident for seven days. On Friday, March 8, 2024, being the fifth day after a transaction from a new generation bank at CFC uh, overhead bridge for Tarkot and heading to the fruit garden market to shop for food stuff, the car I bought had failed break and while the driver shouted for help, I quickly shouted, Holy Ghost, take control. And on the spot, the car was miraculously redirected to a trip of sand that was beside the road. Only God can explain how we did not collide with any of the approaching vehicles, which included a truck. Thank you, divine protective Holy Spirit. Salvation Ministries Church in Mado Plaza by Sharp Corner Abuja, Kefi Expressway, Mararaba, Nasarawa State, Nigeria, from Esther Samuel. I was diagnosed with peptic ulcers disease for two years, which has defied all medication and restricted me from fasting. I would have, I would have severe symptoms if I skipped a meal. I came to church on Sunday, the 10th of March, 2024, prepared and believing God for healing. During God's servant's ministration, the power of God surged into me. For the first time, I felt a cold sensation radiating from my head to my feet instantly. I knew something has happened. After the service, I went home and intentionally skipped a meal to observe myself. To the glory of God, I stayed all through that evening to the next day morning and found out that all the symptoms were gone. I'm thankful to God for using his choice servant in healing me. To God be all the praise. The God of our Father has done this. Rest your feet and give him all the glory. Shall we this morning? Each time money lift up our hands and voices to heaven and consciously tell God thank you this morning. Let's go ahead and tell him thank you. Let's give him praise and glory. No one is like him that you are alive to see this morning. Open your mouth and tell God thank you. Give him all the glory. Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Give him all adoration. We give you praise and glory. We exalt your name. We celebrate your faithfulness in our midst. Blessed be your name, mighty God. To you we give all the glory and praise. In Jesus' mighty name. This Easter morning will mark the end of you who have been in the grave. Yeah. Every buried destiny will bounce back one more time. Yeah. In the precious name of Jesus. Yeah. It says it's not here, it's risen. Somebody's position will forcefully change. Yeah. In the precious name of Jesus. For all that obeyed the youth that went out yesterday to win souls, I pronounce in this special season be single out for special blessings. Amen. For every soul won into the kingdom, may heaven make you a winner. Amen. You know one amongst us that went out to win souls will ever lose in any battle. Amen. God will keep giving us victory. Amen. In the name, may the hand of God amongst your pairs distinguish you. Amen. That no matter who is competing with any of us, they will bow to us. Amen. Because we stood for the gospel, God will stand to defend us. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, speak to us in this first service. Let each one have an encounter with your word for a change of story. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Give me a big hand. You may be seated. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Today is Easter Sunday, and we're looking at understanding the power of resurrection, not the purpose of resurrection. Purpose of what? Understanding the power of his resurrection. We become outstanding by our level of understanding. No one can be outstanding if your understanding is low. The power of his resurrection is the highest realm of power. And it is accessible by knowledge. 
in Philippians chapter 3 and verse 10, the Bible declares that I may know him and the power of his work. You have to know God and you must also have understanding of why Jesus rose from the head. And the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his dead. Easter Sunday is the celebration of Jesus Christ and the resurrection is a demonstration of the almighty power of God. What gives credibility to Christianity is what we are celebrating today. Outside of today, there won't have been Christianity. If Jesus never rose, there won't have been Christianity. It would have been like a religion. But because he rose, and you know he rose, whatever was dead in your life is bouncing back as I'm speaking now. <laughs> because resurrection power can recover anything that you have lost in redemption. Jesus cried the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13 verse 8. He's dead and resurrection. Whatever he died and rose from that you don't have in your life will be released as I'm speaking in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Resurrection is actually about power display. When Jesus rose from the grave, he declared, all power, not some power. He said all. Matthew 28 verse 18. He said all power, all, left none for the devil. Jesus came and spoke on them saying all. He didn't say some power. So he said all what? Everything called power, he said, is given unto me in heaven and in earth. He said as long as power is consigned, it's not in the hands of the devil anymore. All given to him. And it's not for him, it's for the church. Hope you know that. Whatever he paid the price for, it's not for himself. It's for you and I. So there's no power left in the hands of Satan. To attribute power to the devil is a function of ignorance. He said all power, not some power, not half power, not part of the power. All, everything called power. He says, hand it over to him in heaven and on earth. And that is the essence of resurrection. Is that clear, sir? Today. So, resurrection is actually a display of what? Power. In the Greek word, it's called dynamics. Everything in life has to do with power. Your prosperity is I give you what? I've empowered you to prosper. To trample upon something, power. Everything is power. Take away power, Christianity will be a mere religion. So what is in the power of his resurrection? What is it? Because one, many can talk about why Jesus died, but only very few talk about his resurrection. Yapu said Jesus died for our sins. But have you ever bothered to ask what he rose for? What is in the power of his what? Resurrection. That is what does this power offer to you and I? Is it just for us to come to church and say Easter? Easter, Easter. Easter Sunday is actually a day to display power. A day where you look at every devil and say, quiet, you don't have power over my life. So I hear. <laughs> what is in the power of his resurrection, number one? The power of his resurrection marks the end of Satan's dominion. The power of his, is capital H, because you're talking about Jesus. The power of his resurrection marks the end of Satan's dominion. In John 19 verse 30, when Jesus ever received the vinegar, he said, it is what? Finished. He said, Satan, everything that you took from man, I paid the price. It is finished. 
That may look like a defeat, but that was where victory started. So he bowed his head and gave up his ghost. So Satan has no more final say in your affairs. Say, so Satan, you don't have a say in my affairs. Say it one more time. Only Jesus has that authority over my life, but not you and your agents. Shout hallelujah. Shout a big hallelujah. He said, the last enemy that shall be destroyed is dead. First Corinthians 15, 26. The last power in the hands of Satan is dead, which he lost at the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Jesus rose to break the backbone. He broke it. He said, dead, you can't hold me captive. For God, the dead, so the dead cannot hold you. Even the grave, Jesus is what? My soul doth magnify the Lord and my spirit great praise his name for the dead who not hold him captive in the grave Jesus is Lord Jesus I was dead. But Jesus broke it. Dead could not hold him captive. Nobody prayed for him. Nobody what? He want, if they prayed, they said it's the prayer of the people that brought him out. So he wanted to humble every devil. Nobody. Did you hear Peter, James, and John prayed for him? They were afraid. He broke the power of dead. He rose so that death cannot have power over you. So, and he's the only one till today whose bones are not in any grave. No archaeologist. Every other dead person, they saw their bones. But not Jesus. He's risen. He's risen. He's risen. So, there he took dominion over the forces of darkness and handed over the victory to you and I from today. Whatever Jesus paid a price for, receive it in full. Amen. So resurrection is not just an event. Resurrection is a person. A display of power. He said, I am the resurrection. I never said I was. It's a matter. Mary, I am the one. And I declare today, the one who rose from dead is your own savior. It's your own Lord. Wherever Satan has held any of us captive, he's taking his hands off us right now. If you believe it, say amen like a believer. If you are the one the Bible is talking about, the amen will confirm it. In the precious name of Jesus. The louder your amen, you have a testimony. In the precious name of Jesus. You may be seated. What is in the power of his what? Resolution. Number two. What does resolution offer? 
Restoration brings about a change of position supernaturally. Paul said that I may know him. So it's not enough to be in church. I'm not, it's going to be loaded service. Every time we have Easter service, testimonies come. We are not doing some fun here. It's not a conventional service. I said without Easter, there won't have any credibility of Christianity. Are you going to have that? If Jesus never rose, you wouldn't have gathered to say a Christian. <laughs> he brings up how many want their position to change? Say so by resolution. My position must change. Now hear me, people of God. In Ephesians chapter 2, I'll read 5 and 6. Even when we are dead in sins, how many of you believe that before you were born again, you were dead in sins? You believe? You believe this one? Everybody believe, for example, for all I've seen, I'm fortunate of the glory. All of people say, you know, I was a sinner. Have you ever said that before? Why do you stop at that part of the Bible? You don't go further to resurrection. People talk about Jesus forgave us, died for our sins. People even wear black on Good Friday to show that sin is. Are you guys now? But on Sunday, they still talk about the sin. They don't talk about what's on. He died on Good Friday, which we are remembering. And on Sunday, what happened? He rose. So why don't you talk about the resurrection? People know so much about the sin path, and very few know about what? Resurrection. They know about matriculation. They don't know about graduation. They know so much about what? We don't know anything about graduation. Even when we are dead in sins, had he quickened us. That word quicken means to make a life. Now, let me put it this way, in a very, very common illustration. If you have ever seen the train, you know train? The train has head and coaches. Now, the head is Jesus, permit me. And then the coaches is you and I, quicken together with the head. Anywhere the head goes, the body goes. I may not understand it. If you've ever seen train, the, it's the head of the church. We are the body of Christ. Anywhere that head goes, the body goes with it. Any direction of the train, that's how it goes. That's true. That is how you were quicken with Jesus to attire to him. The body has nothing. All the body does is just to follow the head. I mean, understand me. Are you getting me now? You know, it's like a car towing another one. The one they are towing, is it doing any work? You are quickened with Christ. You are tied to Christ. So whatever he did is for you. Oh, glory to God. You see, we are quickened together. Listen, bring it back. With Christ, by grace you are saved. Now, look at verse 6. Verse 6. And had raised us up together. And made us sit together. And where? And where? By his resurrection, he shifted you supernaturally. From the earthly to the heavenly. From where Satan had power over you to where he has no power over you. This scripture was what brought me out of defilement without prayers as a new believer. I never went for any deliverance. Before I became born again, I used to suffer. Many of you used to suffer. Today. You see somebody who will take a man or woman's face and defile you. Is that true? What people call mammy spirit or banjo, whatever you call it. Call it any name you like. You see sometimes you see somebody take a human face that you see you know and then you wake up, you are defiled. You pray, pray, pray. You pray, pray, pray. Nobody laid hands on me. Nobody prayed for me. I just saw Ephesians 2.16 as I was studying the first book as a new book. The very week I became born again. That was the first book I read. After another book of him. And I just, light came from that scripture. <laughs> that I'm seated in heavenly places. Far above Satan's ages. Not one prayer. That was the last day. So, resurrection changes position. Changes what? Of a believer. So here. And this Day, not tomorrow. Everything that was tormenting your life will drop off as I'm speaking in the name of Jesus. In Matthew 27, 
53. And the graves were opened. Were what? And many bodies of the saints which slept arose. And came out of the graves after his what? <laughs> after he rose, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Job, Abraham, died thousands of years, they rose. When he rose, dead bodies rose physically, not spiritually. They saw them in Jerusalem. That means they rose what? They were seeing them, not shadowed. They saw them. Look at it here. And came out of the graves after and went into the holy city and appeared. You can't see spirit. They appeared unto many. Did you hear that? They appeared. They saw them. They said, ah, this one not. They appeared to many. If resurrection can bring the dead, dead people out, you are not dead. Maru break it If resurrection, Jesus, listen, Jesus Christ is saying what? You just quote it. It's still the same. So if you bring back the word of God, he still do what you did. It's not gone. It's the same what? Jesus Christ is the same. You are not. We are not talking with confidence. Jesus Christ is what? If yesterday he did it, he would do it. He would do it. <laughs> if he rose and dead people came out of the grave, dead, and they saw them, are you dead? No. Which one is easier? Your own. Say, my position, my position must, change must change by the power, by the power of his resolution. It is what you confess, you become. Say it again. Say, no, say it again. Say it one minute. Say it from your heart. You know why you declare words? They are very powerful. Something happened to me. I was to board a plane and they said to me, well, um, you will go but your luggage will not come. So I looked at the woman who said that to me. I said, the whole luggage will appear. He said, we are not sure. We don't think so. But you will go. But the luggage will not follow you. I said, the entire luggage will come. <laughs> I said, well, your suitcases, not likely. I said, the whole suitcases will come. So well, okay. The whole suitcases came. Against what was spoken. When I said declare, don't think I'm just ignorant of what I'm saying. If you don't say it, you will never have it. Whatever you want to see must be said. If you don't, a closed mouth will end up a closed destiny. Even Jesus couldn't have risen if he never said it. He said, I will destroy this temple in three days. Will, everything about his future, he spoke it. Quiet Christians will end up as public failures. Some of you are too civilized. How can I say my position will change? Uh, this man does not know I'm from Ogu. How can my position change, fisherman? Now listen. Somebody's position will change. Yeah. In Luke 24, 5 and 6. Marie And as they were afraid, you know, <laughs> bowed down their faces to the earth. They said unto them, Why seeking the living among the dead? There's a question mark there. Why are you looking for the one who has risen amongst the dead people? <laughs> He's not here. Is risen. Remember, I spoke unto you when he was yet in Galilee. That means he declared it. <laughs> From this day, you will never be found where you used to be in the name of Jesus. Somebody is moving from failure to success. When they come to look for you among the single, they will discover that you are married. 
When they look for you among the poor, they discover that God has blessed you. Amen. When they look for you among the sick, they will see you among the healthy. Amen. When they look for you among the barren, they will see you among the fruitful. Amen. When they look for you among the paupers, they will see you among the prosperous. Amen. Somebody's change, somebody will change as I'm speaking in the name of Jesus. If you are the one, let your amen confirm it. Sorry, by the power of his resurrection, my position will change. Do you know what you want to change? You will be specific. Because I have just prophesied, you will be specific. By the power of his resurrection, when they come to look for me where I used to be, I will not be there anymore. You call it by name. If when they come to look for me among the sick, I will not be among the sick. When they come to look for me where I used to be, you have been in one room for 10 years. Declare that by this service, you must move out of that one room. Where you are born does not mean you must remain there. It was born in a manger, but it's not, it will never live in the manger. You can be born with poor spoon, but can live with golden spoon. Did you hear what I said? Yes, I grew up in a place called Port Johnson. I'm not living there. Nothing in this world can make me live in Port Johnson. Port Johnson is in town, Port Harcourt. That was where I grew up. Are you getting me now? I was doing evangelism one day. I went there and I told the boy in the room, I said, I've stayed here. The young boy looked at me. They are, they are in this church now. I said, this place you're sitting, we've stayed here. He said, excuse me? I said, yes. So I know how to knock the door. I said, open the door. I said, we've stayed here before. He said, you don't mean it? Pastor, you stayed here? I said, yes. I didn't preach. The one I said, I've stayed here and I'm the one. He just came out with his father. I said, now, you know why? If I can move from here, I can move. He said, look, Papa, don't preach. <laughs> it's, they are not members of this church. Amen. So where you are born does not mean you must die there. You are free to be born in any of the Romans. But you must not live in the Romans. Why must who, who, somebody's position will change? Yeah. You will declare forcefully by the power of his word, my position will change. Yeah. From what to what? Go ahead and declare it in the name of Jesus. Stand up and say it with authority in the name of Jesus. Jesus, mighty name. Look at someone around you and witness to that person, my position has changed. Say it prophetically. Say it yourself if you're alone. Let every devil hear your voice. Shout a better amen. You may be seated number three. What resolution offers? Resurrection establishes our liberty. Establishes our what? Our liberty. In Acts chapter 2 and verse 24. Whom God has raised up, having lost the pains of death, because it was not possible that he should be holding of it. Did you hear that? <laughs> By his resurrection power, our liberty was established over the bondage of death 
failure, sickness, poverty, shame, near success syndrome, barrenness, family crisis, reproach, and all are source of the devil and his agents and whatever evil place on us. He said, death could not hold him. Our liberty was what? Established. I said, he said, the Lord is the spirit. Second Corinthians 3 verse 70. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There is freedom. That's what? If the son of God, Jesus, said if you are free indeed. I don't care where you have been held captive. Somebody's freedom is being established right now. Yeah. That amen is your own. Yeah. No matter how long you have been in that problem, you've been there for 15 years, held captive 20 years, 30 years, I decree right now, your liberty is established in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Now hear this, I hear God. Please flow with me. Somebody's deliverance will be instant. Somebody's liberty will be instant. Somebody's liberty will be instant. If you are in this service of expectation, a miracle will come to you right now. Rise on your feet and we we'll worship as I'm led by the Spirit of God. Somebody will be set free right now. If your liberty is to be now, let your amen be the loudest. The chains over your life, they are broken. Whatever the enemy did to keep you captive, you are free. If your liberty is right now, your amen will be the loudest in the congregation.
this I hear God as a man he as his friend and God said to me that mockery will end in a testimony I heard him in case they mocked you in any area by the service administration of this hour that mockery will end with a miracle and a testimony anyone who has mocked any of us in any area of life watch it based on today's service you will have a testimony in the area you are mocked if you believe that I hear God your amen will confirm it in the name of Jesus whoever has mocked us I stand on the integrity of what I heard from the Holy Ghost you will have a testimony in that area we will have testimonies in that area in the name of Jesus somebody's mockery has turned to a miracle they ridicule you God will turn it around they mocked you before today is over. In that area of your life, you are going to see yourself celebrating. Amen. Let your amen be the loudest. Amen. You are free from failure, amen. free from sickness, amen. self poverty, amen. free from shame, amen. near success syndrome, amen. free from badness, amen. family crisis, amen. reproach, amen. all our source of the devil, amen. bondage of dead. What was that? Play? You are free from it. By the power of his resurrection in the name of Jesus the Holy Spirit has set someone free who says amen, amen. give Jesus a shout of victory you may be seated hey. glory to God <laughs> I may have to stop you and take other services it's as if it's just two minutes we spent. In the second service, I tell you, free from religion offers unquestionable triumph. Loses, you are quick in your mortal body, that means you can't be sick. Are you going to say now? Somebody, second service, kidneys will jack back. Amen. You are free from condemnation. Amen. Have you stayed like this? A voice tells you, forget it. Your life is finished. Have you ever stayed like that? So I've got to address that. You still like to just feel condemn yourself. It's a child. It's true. But as I you know that you are not supposed to feel guilty. Condemnation, you will be free from it. And you get what I'm talking about? Satan comes with a voice. He says, you know, when you are not born again, this is what you did. But if any man being Christ is a new creature. So nobody can lay charge against God's elect. I will address it because that's one of the biggest problems of Christianity. You, you condemn even yourself. You still like this. It's true. He it speaks to you. Say it's true. It's true. They say what did happen? Nothing. Just say like this. You can't even pray. You begin to cry. It will be over. I will address in the second service. You are free from. Condemnation. That's what you are free from. Da da da. I'm my salvation. Da 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 da. Da da da. Over the wall. Hallelujah. After we sing that one, Amen. Praise the Lord. But how many of us want to walk in the power of His resurrection? You want to walk in the power of His resurrection? You want it to work for you? Yeah, man. You must be born again. You can't walk in the power of His resurrection except your what? As many as received him to them, gave you power to become the sons of God. You can't walk in the power of God except you receive Jesus. John 1 12. As many as received him. So if you don't receive him, this resurrection power can't work for you. It didn't want to work for those who are not born again. It worked for Peter, James, and John. You know, work for every child that was in Israel. As many as what? Received him. So when altar call is made in the next few minutes, you receive Jesus into your life and be born again. And then power does not just come, you must test for it. You must what? Test for it. Psalm 63, 1 and 2. It says, my soul tested. Psalm 63, 1 and 2. Oh God, that my God, early will I seek thee. My soul tested for thee. My flesh longed for thee in a dry and tested land where no water is. To see thy power and thy glory. So as I have seen thee in the world, Sandra, you test for power. You test for it. Are you getting me now? 
I tested for power. I hated Christianity without power. I hated it. I hate theology where you just preach and preach and preach and nothing happens. I saw power on display. I said, I like Christianity like this. One day, Archbishop Benson did that also. I will never forget, came 1996 to Winners Chapel in Aquaja. And as he stood on the altar, I saw raw power on display. I said, what? He did his finger like this. A young man with camera. Could, he said, snap. I said, stop. He pressed the camera. camera could not snap. He pressed again. Camera, I said, what? He moved like this. Nobody could hold him. The other one, I said, just shift the other one. Everybody just wow. I said, try right, This one is very sweet. He said, okay, now snap me. You want me to clap? He said, when I said, I tell you, you can't snap. I said, wow. I saw power on display. And then I saw my mentor in the ball. He said, listen, who's that devil? Tell that fox. I said, ah, this is not the kind of Christianity I'm coming from. No, they tell you, no talk, oh, no talk, oh, no talk, oh. They don't lock you up. No talk, no, they shout. <laughs> I saw raw display of power. As I love this type. You know, it is what you test for, God gives you. I tested for it. And I longed for it. I have been told long ago, when I was not this level, don't come to church, they said they will arrest you. Life story, the woman has gone to be with the Lord. She said, Papa, please, I was there when they said they will arrest you. Don't come. Don't come. Please, I beg you. She was almost crying. Elderly. I said, Papa, don't come. Now they said they will arrest you if you come. I... Thursday I was in service. I said, that devil has not been born. Oh, time me here. He said, Papa, I said, no, come, me come. <laughs> arrest who? <laughs> arrest. They are, they are unarrestable people. <laughs> are you going to say that? Arrest who? But if I never tested and I never saw it, Jesus, when he stood, they fell. It was him that willingly surrendered himself. Oh. When he came out, the whole of them fell. Power on display. Then they now say, let this one go. I willingly surrender. Did you hear anybody come to arrest him after he rose? Eh? He was, <laughs> when he stood up, the Bible said they came with their matches, lamps, everybody fell. <laughs> That's Christianity. You'll be baptized with that kind of power. Amen. So Christianity is not Jesus say, come and say, Amen. No, it's, beyond, it's beyond that. Rise to your feet. Lift your right hand and say, Father, Father I, hunger I hunger for the power of God. Power. Give me understanding, understanding of how, of how to, work to work in the power, in the power of his resurrection. So sit with the word. I'm not ashamed of God for the power of God to what? Salvation. Romans 1 16. Sit with the word and be empowered. Be what? Empowered. empowered. Where you talk like hey, you are not talking panicking. You are talking with authority. But listen where does the journey start? Salvation. If you are not born again, wherever you are in any part of the world repeat this prayer after me. Say Lord Jesus I have come to you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose from there to save me. With my mouth, I declare you. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' mighty name. If you offer that prayers, don't sit while others take their seats. Keep standing and someone will attend to you. If today is your very, this Easter is your very first Sunday to worship with us, kindly stand. We want to welcome you. This is your first Sunday. You're welcome to Salvation Ministry, the home of success. May your coming today change your story. Please make sure you follow up these ones who have come. The new Preserver Squad, we are not for fun. I don't know whether you've started your work at the headquarters. All branches, make sure it's effective. Everyone standing, may your life never remain the same. You have come to be a part of this Easter Sunday. The things spoken over your life will begin to manifest. Keep coming and your life will keep changing. In Jesus' name, give thanks to God for his word. Praise the Lord. It's offering time. 
to change your financial position from poverty, want, lack, to prosperity. You must be willing to give. What you are willing to give is what God is willing to multiply. God so loved, he gave Jesus to get every one of us. So if you want God to multiply your seed, you must be willing to give up the one you have done. You must give quality seed. Today is Easter. Sunday, worship God with your money. Online worshipers, follow instruction and God will visit you and multiply your seed in Jesus' mighty name. Lift your offering and appreciate God. Appreciate him because you know that God is going to multiply. He will change your situation. He will come out of lack and want to enjoy abundance in the name of Jesus. Please remember be seated. Good news. We are dedicating a new book today. Walking in the Supernatural. You stretch forth your hands. And, shall we rise please, sorry. And hand over this book to God. As the name is, anybody who reads this book will walk in the super because it controls the natural. All the events of life are controlled from the supernatural. Speak and declare that we hand over to him. Let his glory cover the book and let the book become his. Go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Father, we officially dedicate walking in the supernatural in the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. That this book become your book. It's out of the book we wrote, this book. Let the words of this book carry power in the name of Jesus. Transform lives. Make each one that reads this book to walk in the supernatural. Bless in the name of Jesus. Change destinies. Thank you, Father. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. This book become yours. And your glory envelop this book. In Jesus' mighty name. Don't just hear it. Read it, get a copy for yourself, and get as many copies as you can and give to people. Is that through? Let's, for time's sake, also dedicate the team for next month so we can save time. 
wisdom for greater exploits. That is one for the next week of spiritual empowerment. Stretch for your hands and let's dedicate wisdom for greater exploits. Father, in the name of Jesus, we dedicate April week of spiritual empowerment, 9th to 11th. In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, that your glory rest upon this handbill. Everywhere this handbill is given, let your glory be revealed. In Jesus' mighty name. Now you may be seated. Take this information. In the fourth service, there will be Thanksgiving prayers for those born in March, married in March, and those who give their lives in March. Come with your friends and well wishers and celebrate. Tuesdays, home fellowship at 6 p.m. Attend home fellowship in our different homes. Thursday, it will be the first service in the month of April. <laughs> April is a unique month. This church on the 13th will be 27 years in April. <laughs> All events will be told you concerning the week. It's the week of spiritual empowerment. That's why we see the week of spiritual empowerment to that week. So we all have the, instead of having week of spiritual empowerment and have it, so that vast everything will be that week. Amen. Now, Thursday service, this Thursday will be excelling without limits. <laughs> excelling without worth. It's a month of wisdom for greater exploits. How do you excel without worth? Limits. Saturday, we all go out for global evangelism. On Saturday, for the week of spiritual Empowerment come with your cars at 8 a.m. Yesterday, people responded. They said, everywhere all over the world, God reward everyone that responded. Amen. Sunday is praise for greater exploits. <laughs> praise for greater. So it's free dressing on Sunday. Dress so you can be free to dance. April, we got spider empowerment starts on 9th to 11th. And then 13th is the anniversary. Is that clear? We'll tell you what to do. The team is what? Wisdom for Greater Exploits. How many of you will get copies of this book? Amen. Even what I taught is in the book. Hope you know. We have a book on the power of his resurrection. So if you want to know more, you can read that book for knowledge. But today's book, everybody should have a, a copy, not just for yourself alone. Always learn to read. Because without the supernatural, your Christianity will be fake. Are you getting me? Praise Lord. Rise to your feet. Lift those hands to heaven. Whatever has been declared towards you right now, not one will fail in your life. Amen. On this special Easter Sunday, may your liberation be made manifest. Amen. Enjoy your liberty to the fullest. Amen. Be blessed wherever you go. Amen. The purpose of his resurrection will be made manifest in our lives. Amen. Peace in all your journeys. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. The grace together, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet flow of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. Happy Easter. Look at someone, three friends, and say to them, Happy Easter.
Someone glad to be in the second service. Give God a shout of praise. You are welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. I know the God of this commission has blessed you with catalogs of testimonies. For those here at the Global Headquarters, please go to the success door. Pastors and officials are there to document your testimonies. The word of God declares in John chapter 11 verse 25, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. You have appreciated the Lord for the power of resurrection coming upon all aspects of your life for total victory now and always. Raise your voice and appreciate the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we give you glory and praise for the power of resurrection coming upon all of us of our life for total victory now and always. Be thou exalted, mighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord is faithful, give him glory and praise. King, robed in majesty, let all the earth rejoice, let all the earth rejoice. He wraps himself in light, and darkness tries to hide. But it trembles at his voice It trembles at his voice How great is our God Sing with me How great is our God Oh, we'll sing Oh, we'll sing How great Say how great How great
Everybody lift him up to the King of Kings, to the Lord of Lords, to the Great I Am. We say higher, higher. We say higher, higher. Lift him higher. Shout him higher. Lift him higher. Shout him higher. Higher, higher, higher. Wonderful name with a big hand clap to Jesus. May please just sit there in God's presence. Papa said in his book, The Power of His Resurrection. He said, The greatest event that the world has ever experienced is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It's testimony time. Put your hands together for Jesus as we invite Rose Carlo for her testimony. While she comes, please pay careful attention to the following information. A very warm welcome to Easter service. Good news. In preparation for April week of spiritual empowerment 2024 with the theme, Wisdom for Greater Exploits, there will be Global Mass Evangelism on Saturday, 6th April 2024 at the Global Headquarters and all our branches. Prayers will be transmitted at 8 a.m. Please come with your cars. That prescription for sound Christian life is the Word of God. Salvation Word of Life Bible Institute presents High International Basic Certificate course for the month of April 2024. Basic Certificate course will be both live and online for countries with GMT plus one or minus one time zones to participate. Nigeria inclusive. Pastors hosting Bible school should please announce at their branches. School begins on Monday 8th and ends Friday 19th of April 2024. Please note, school fee scholarship is available for students who cannot afford it. For registration, visit worldbe.smhos.org or call any of the numbers as displayed. Visit the Knowledge Center or e-store at smhosstore.com immediately after the fourth service to obtain today's message and all the messages in hard copy and flash drive. Or subscribe to our money collections on MP3 and DVD. Amongst the materials are message, Commanding Abundance in Scarcity, March 2024, Week of Spiritual Empowerment, Glory Rain 2024, MP3 and DVD. Books, Manifesting God's Glory, Holy Spirit Consciousness, Wonders of His Grace, Knowing the Person of the Holy Spirit, The Helper of the Helpless, Walking in the anointing and Holy Spirit my helper. In a character retarding world, Wisdom Bank provides resource materials designed to facilitate learning, mold and shape your children's character to reflect Christ. Visit the Wisdom Bank to acquire the materials that will distinguish your children or call the number as displayed. To commit to kingdom advancement and expansion, please refer to the detailed information on your screen. Also for profit offerings, send your seed to the account as displayed. Those desiring to build worship centers in any of the categories displayed on the screen, please call the Global Missions Office on any of the numbers as displayed. As part of our Children's Day Celebration 2024, the Children Ministry announces Leading Lights Essay Competition for children between ages 5 to 11. This is to inspire and harness the creativity of our children. Parents and guardians are to visit smhos.org slash leading lights to register their children or pick the forms at their various branches. Registration ends on Sunday, 7th April 2024. For further inquiry, call any of the numbers as displayed. Okma International Academy in Fan Junior and College announces admission into pre-kindergarten primary 1 to 5 and year 7 GSS 1 for 2024-2025 academic session. Applicants are to fill and submit an online application form at okma.org 
www.africanforthecollege.ng. Note, applicants for the college must be 10 years by September 2024. For entrance examination, days, venues and all the details, please visit okma.org.ng or call any of the numbers as displayed. In the fourth service today, there are a thanksgiving prayer for those who are born, those who got married and those who gave their lives to Christ in March. Note, please come with your friends and well-wishers for the thanksgiving and thereafter do your reception. There will be service group prayers on Friday, 5th of April, 2024, for sanctuary units at the Kingdom Arena for those at the Global Headquarters at 5 p.m. All concerned should fast before coming. Water baptism holds immediately after this service, while live foundation class for new converts and believers holds tomorrow Monday by 5 p.m. and on Saturday by 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. respectively at the Global Headquarters and all hard branches globally. The class is designed to give you stability in your Christian adventure. Please come with your writing materials. To receive daily prayers, prophecies and wisdom quotes for living, like, share and follow David Ibiomi on Facebook, at David Ibiomi on Instagram, at David underscore Ibiomi, X at David Ibiomi. Enjoy yourself in God's presence. God bless you. Your name and testimony. Praise God, church. My name is Rose Carlo. My testimony is on God perfection. Last month, I was booked for a surgery. A night before the surgery, I took my communion and prayed to God for a successful surgery. I went into the theater. Everything was perfectly done. I came out. Three days after the surgery, I had some complication. I keep on following up, uh, no morning devotion, praying God for perfection. At God may have it, my health was restored. Every, everything was perfectly okay. I came to return all the glory to God. God is faithful as a doer. Shall we please stand to our feet and give him all the glory? Father, we thank you for the testimonies. Be thou exalted in Jesus' precious name. May please be seated as we welcome the Lady Light headquarters for the administration. On behalf of the Leading Light Headquarters, we heartily appreciate Papa for this opportunity to present on this exalted altar. And Mama, thank you for your love and prayers. And to the team of pastors and everyone else, we thank you for your support. Please relax as you listen to our Easter song. We believe This is the Son of God. We believe He came to save us on the cross. And there's a need for all the world to know His love. We believe that His love is big enough. Thank you. 
Father, we raise our voice and appreciate him. Father, we give you all the glory and praise in Jesus' mighty name. You may please have your seat as we go to God in prayers. In Isaiah chapter 57, verse 14, and shall say, Cast ye off, cast ye off, prepare the way. Take up the stumbling block out of the way of my people. Zechariah chapter 10, verse 8. I will use for them and gather them, for I have redeemed them. Pray against all devices of Satan to hinder the inflow and return of multitude of abiding souls into salvation ministries. Ask the Lord to quicken all worshippers, new and old, to flow into today's services, physical and online. Stand to your feet. Raise your voice. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, Satan, yeah, yeah, God's word. I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. I will also glorify them, and they shall not be small. We frustrate all the vices of yours, you devil, to hinder the inflow and return of multitude of abiding souls into salvation ministries in all our services and progress using today's services as a point of contact. We point to the devil. By the blood of Jesus, Lord, we ask that you kick in all worshippers, new and old, to flow into today's services, physical and online, in the name of Jesus. Matthew 28, verse 18, and Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, all, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Pray that by the nation power of Jesus, all redemptive rights, that the enemy has heard or delayed be released in full to all genuine worshippers in salvation ministries. Raise our voice. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, restore unto me the joy of the salvation. Lord, we pray by the restoration power of Jesus, all redemptive rights that the enemy has said or delayed be released in full to all genuine worshippers in salvation ministries, riches, power, wisdom, glory be released unto us in the name of Jesus. Thank God for answer to prayers. Lord, we give all the glory and praise in Jesus' mighty name. You may please have your seat as we have officials read other testimonies to the glory of God. Salvation Ministries Church, the Kakon Church, Benin Republic, from David Marcos. I noticed that my business wasn't going as it should be as I was experiencing low sales and almost no patronage. And so it became a concern to me. I had also observed that my landlord's mother would come to sit close to my shop. On a fateful day, she was seated as usual close to my shop. And I was open for the day and began to clean. I was prompted to play, pray, but ignored it and continued to clean. But the thought came again. Immediately, I started praying and called on the God of David Ibiomi to rise on my behalf. Suddenly, a force lifted her from her seat. From where she was seated, where her seated position outside and struck her on the ground without the chair moving an inch. I saw her struggle for life and I called on my branch pastor to help me to pray to God for mercy. But he said no, that the God of David Mimi has taken vengeance on my behalf. Since then, I have not encountered the old woman anymore and there have been a sporadic progress in my business like never before. I thank God for connecting me to Salvation Ministries here in Benin Republic. Indeed, the God of David Mimi answers prayers. Praise God. Salvation Ministries Church near College of Medicine along our GBN Expressway, Ekwomai Edo State, Nigeria, from Edemudia Michael. I prayed earnestly to God for financial support and help in my business, believing God will do it. God so kind on the 21st of March 2024, someone invested five times what I expected, and today, the 28th of March 2024, another person invested in my business four times what I got the previous time. Indeed, the God of salvation ministries answers prayers and return all glory to God. Testimony from S.A. Enoribe, United Kingdom. Ever since I joined Salvation Ministries Church, God has done nothing but shown himself mightily in my life and my household. I am here to thank God for making it possible to, for me to relocate abroad to join my family. Last year in uh, Lekki Branch, I gave a testimony how God made it possible for my family relocation to the United States. This year, I had a covenant with God that when he does my, I will testify globally for everyone to hear and see that indeed there is God in Salvation Ministries and it is indeed a home of success. 
Salvation Ministry Show today, FM Drive, Rumeke Port Harcourt, River State, Nigeria, from Peace and Unubi. On Saturday, 23rd March 2024, I woke up feeling feverish. I applied the anointing oil to servant blessed during the March week of spiritual empowerment 2024, declaring my healing and God graciously answered. Secondly, during the vengeance service in the March week of spiritual empowerment, I stood in the gap for my sister who has been unconscious for a while and prayed against an evil uncle of mine, giving him seven days to be dead. To the glory of God, before the seven days he died and my sister who has been unconscious regained consciousness almost immediately. God is mighty. You are near to testify, stand to your feet, and appreciate God. Shall we one more time give thanks to God for making us see Easter Sunday? Let's go ahead and thank Him. That we are alive to see today. Let's go ahead and tell God thank you. Are you thanking God from the depth of your heart? Consciously tell God thank you. And is that how you thank God for seeing today? Celebrate his faithfulness in your life. Exalt him because no one is like him forever is on the throne. Thank you Father. In Jesus mighty name we have given thanks. Now hear this. The price God was willing to pay reveals your worth. If God can give his son, Jesus, for you, then your worth is not ordinary. Are you getting what I'm saying now? For him to pay such price, it means you of great value. He was willing to pay such a big price just for your sake. That's why I said, tell him, thank you. The price was willing to pay shows your worth, reveals your worth, you are not an ordinary person. Never some ordinary. He paid the highest price for your sake. If it just because of you, would have still come. Is that through? Lord, I thank you because you paid the highest price for my sake. Go ahead and thank him. Thank him with that understanding. Thank him with that revelation at the back of your heart. You paid the highest price for my sake. So I'm worth a lot in your sight. Are you telling God thank you from your heart? Are you telling God thank you from the depth of your heart? Lord, I thank you because you pay the highest price for my sake. I say thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You paid such a price for me. I'm here to say to you, thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. To you be all the glory and praise. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we are grateful to you because you paid the highest price for us. To you we give all the glory. There's nothing we'll do that can even equate what you have done for us. That can equal what you have done for us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mind, speak to us your word on this special day of Easter. Let each one have a revelation of your word. In Jesus' mighty name. Before you have your seats, you pray this prayer for yourself in Philippians 3, verse 10. It said that I may know him. It was already an apostle, Paul speaking, and the power of his resurrection. He said, I want to have a deeper revelation of who you are. I want a deeper revelation of knowing the reason why you rose from the dead. And the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable to his death. Lord, open down my understanding. To know the purpose of resurrection. We know the purpose of his dead. But many don't know the purpose of resurrection. Lord reveal it to me. Your depth of knowledge is, determines your height in life. Is that clear? Paul was stoned. He did not die. Stephen was stoned. He died. Two of them had no, two of them were apostles. But the revelation was not the same. So don't think that two of you are in church. doesn't mean that two of you have the same side of insight. Paul was stoned. And Paul's stoning was heavier than Stephen's stoning. The Bible said they stoned and they went, looked at him, and there was no light. As they were trying to pray, he got up to preach. Why? He had depth. Paul was inside water for 24 hours. He was not a fish. He said, I slept in the deep, deep of water. And Paul did not die. That's not a, not a normal man. That's what Satan said, Jesus, I know, even Paul, I know. This man, Paul died when he said, I finished my course. Are you getting me? So his depth of insight was extraordinary. Lord revealed to me the secret of resurrection. Is that clear? 
Pray that prayer for yourself in the name of Jesus. I want deep understanding of resurrection. Open my understanding, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Reveal to me the depth of revelation. Is that how you pray? Somebody expecting a revelation, we pray deeper. Will you pray sincerely and seriously that you have depth of insight into the truth of God's word? Are you praying or you're playing? Are you praying or you're playing? Tell God to reveal to you the secret of his word. Blessed be God forever. In the name of Jesus, may insight that you have today make you gain height. May every form of blindness come to an end in your life. And the Holy Ghost himself will open your understanding. Lord, breathe your breath upon the word. For each one to have an encounter with the word of resurrection. In Jesus' mighty name. Give me a big hand. You may be seated. <laughs> Slap your neighbor and give him a Easter high five. Tell your neighbor I celebrate you. Today is Easter Sunday. I said something what has given credibility to Christianity is today. If Jesus never rose from dead, there wouldn't have been Christianity. Is that true? That you are called a Christian today is because he rose from dead. He said that I may know him and the power of his what? And the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable unto his death. So with that knowledge, you can't acquire anything in the kingdom. We are looking at understanding the power of his resurrection, the purpose of his what? The purpose of his resurrection. Part of the session. I said something in the first service. I said Easter is the celebration of the resurrection of Jesus. And the resurrection of Jesus is the demonstration of the power of God. Jesus died and rose from dead to restore to mind all that man lost. Whatever you lost in your life will be restored right now. Because he is the same yesterday, to and forever. Dead could not hold him captive. Every buried destiny will come alive right now. Yeah. Restoration is actually about power display. Jesus speaking, said, All power in heaven and earth has been given unto me. Matthew 28, verse 18. He didn't say some power, he said, All left known for the devil. All power, all. So Satan does not have anyone left in his hands. Jesus said all power, all and left none in the hands of the devil. To attribute power to the devil is a function of ignorance. If Christianity, if resurrection is that powerful, then why are you not enjoying the power? <laughs> is that clear? Yeah, it is. Paul said, that I may know him and the power. That means if you actually understand the power of his what? You will not be going for all this deliverance and all this prayer that you're praying against witches. You will just command a witch to be bewitched. He said that I will understand what this power carries. Listen, there are those who cast out demons and there are those who demons see around. True? There are those who do prayers all night for witches and there are those who witches see around. Which one do you prefer? How can you do all night for a witch? All night. Then what will you do for the devil? All year. <laughs> you get to a point where demons see you and run. All cult men see you and they don't come to your compound. Life story. My wife is here, living witness. 996. A notorious occult man was living with us in Victoria Island, Lagos. And one morning... I got up in my pajamas. As I came out, just sighting my face, he physically ran. I didn't pray. And people dreaded this man. It's late now. I didn't pray. Not that I said, you devil. No. I just came out. He could not. Start. He finished his incantations. And me, I came out. Just sighting my look, he physically ran. I'm not talking about spiritual run. Everybody said, why is this man running? Are you getting what I'm saying now? 
you, when you understand the power of his worth, your Christianity will be sweet. A madman was breaking cars opposite the hotel. I will never forget I was in Bible school. Was coming out early morning. Everybody was running. This man was, young man was violent with a iron club in his hand. He, any guy will hit the screen, bow, to smash. So people were just driving like madmen. I didn't know why they were running. They jump out of their cars because he was hitting cars. And I went to him physically with his club and he did like this. Born again. Everybody wonder who is this person. Physically with his iron in his hand. When I came out, I didn't know what was happening. He looked at my face. He bowed his head. Born again. That was the other word to use. So people, I wonder who is this person. So I was the only one at the bus stop. Are you going to say now? I didn't say, you devil, get out. I just, I just appeared. And the way I appeared, if I was not in that charged mood, with the iron in his hand, you know what would have happened? <laughs> so Christianity is a demonstration of power. Resurrection is a display of the power of Jesus. So here. It's not just an event where we wear clothes and come out. It's where you have understanding why Jesus rose from the dead. I pray today your eyes will be open to see the truth of the gospel of Jesus. Amen. Shout a better amen. amen. Shout a loud amen. amen. So what is in the power of his resurrection? What is it this power offers? In the first service, I said the power of his resurrection marks the end of Satan's dominion. I said, number two, society don't have dominion. Number two, the power brings about the change of position supernaturally. I said that in the first service. I said, the establishes our liberty, number three. And then number four. Resurrection, that's in this service. Resurrection offers unquestionable triumph. Resurrection offers what? Unquestionable triumph. In Colossians 2.15, and having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly triumphing over them in it. When Jesus rose, he dis he dem all the demons, he just, he just, have you ever watched the wrestling competition where somebody is so strong that he just beat everybody and threw everybody out? And find that nobody's in the ring coming again. Have you seen that? That's how what Jesus did. He just threw all the demons out. And no demon again existed. He triumphed, he spoiled principalities and what? He spoiled them. He just messed them up. May you triumph from today. Amen. Oh, that amen is your own. Amen. Say, all oh, people and powers, my resurrected Jesus triumphed over you on my behalf. Shout a better amen. amen. Number five. Resurrection releases the power to quicken your body. Resurrection releases the what? The power to quicken your body. Resurrection releases the power to quicken your body. Hey, Brady, Kusakata. In Romans chapter 8 and verse 11. Shall we all read together? One to go. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you. Stop there. That's a command there. Listen, I want to take it gently. Somebody as I'm speaking now, your dead kidneys will jack back. Yeah. He said, if the same spirit that raised up Christ from the dead is in you, if you are born again, it's in you. Every born again child is where? <laughs> he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken. That word quicken means to make alive, to revitalize. To bring back to life. Shall quicken your mortal body. Mortal body is not spirit. It's this body. This one you're touching. This body. He said the resurrection power that is in you. Will quicken your mortal by spirit will dwell in, that dwell in you. Listen carefully. Let me explain to you. Listen. Please just listen. When Jesus died. The physical body gave up. All his organs packed up. Then the Holy Spirit. By resurrection went into that body. Nobody prayed for him. It quickened him. The physical body came out. Is that true? 
Listen carefully. You know what Jesus wanted to do? He wanted to prove the world that he has power over death. Hello. He has what? It quickened his birth. He stood up. Came out of the grave. Stood. They saw him. How do I know? He said, Thomas, touch my body. If you think I'm spirit, touch it. Thomas touched his flesh. If he was spirit, Thomas would have said, do like this. I can't touch you. He wanted to prove to him I'm spirit and I'm also flesh. He said, touch me to know that I'm alive. Because if Thomas never saw him, Thomas would have said, I don't believe you. That you rose. Thomas would have said, but Thomas touched him. He said, okay, this is you. He said, now you touch me, you believe I have risen. He said, Thomas, next I don't doubt. So Thomas touched his body. Now he said, if that same spirit that rose him is in you. <laughs> Life story. I shared a testimony which nobody knew. My two kidneys at the time pained me. I don't know whether you enjoyed what I shared it. They pained me. When I mean pain, the pain was unbearable. And I knew it was kidney. If I've gone to hospital, they must give me a story. The next they will tell you dialysis or whatever they will call you. It, I knew that something was wrong. So I just laid on the bed. No prayer. I rolled Romans 8, 11. If the Holy Ghost is in me, it shall quicken my mother body. I just rolled. I want to have everything left. After I've done comprehensive checkup, my kidneys are intact. Why? I was walking in the depth of resurrection. Sir, so here. Who is in you? The spirit that is of Jesus dwell inside who? It dwells in you. It dwells in you. It shall quicken your mortal body. So resurrection forbids that any organ in you pack up. Oh, how many want life to surge into their organs? Do you believe the word of God? Lift your right hand and say, by the power of his resurrection, every organ in me come alive. Say it one more time. Somebody's eyes going blind will see perfectly. Whatever comes in contact with the original power receives life. Receives what? The moment anything comes in contact, I'm getting a revelation. Even your dead business will come back to life. Anything that comes in contact with the power of his resurrection comes what? Receives what? Hey. Just worship in a very low to deep, deep worship. Anything that comes in contact with resurrection power, this is what? Life. This is what? Life. This is life. Anything that comes in contact. Anything that comes in contact with resurrection power, this is what? Life. Anything. Anything. Come. Bring your note. Anything. This is note. This is what it does. This is not. If the restoration power of God, look at it, comes in contact with this book, this book will receive what? It will receive life. This is what happens. This is how your kidneys are. Your organs are no life. Maybe even your eyes, no life. You are blind. And the resurrection power of the Holy Ghost of Jesus comes in contact like this. Touches it. This material will see what? Life. Was there life here before? Was there life here before? Now watch. The power of his resurrection come in contact with this book. Let your life transmit through this book in the name of Jesus. Now, let your power touch this book. I thought what? Now, I want somebody who is sick. You know what you do? Watch. Take this book and touch that person who is sick. The person will be healed. Any sick you take. Look. Bring sick person. He will use this book and touch the person himself. Just touch any sick person. The person will be healed. And I'm going to use it to demonstrate. Touch anybody who is sick with the book. The person will be healed. Just one person meet him. Go and touch the person with the book. Touch that part of the person's body. And that person will be healed. Now, that will prove to you that resurrection power, just touch the person. Anybody you just touch. 
Now listen. I want you to say it by the power of his resurrection. Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Every organ in me. Right now. Come alive. Come on. I don't, you don't need to stand there. Just go back to your seats. You don't need to touch everybody. You just it's enough. All of them just leave them. Let check, tell, yourself, tell one person to check himself or herself. And you know that power can be transmitted. Now listen. If power can transmit through book, it can transmit it to your body. Is that true? Is that true? Now listen. Say Holy Spirit. You don't need to. I didn't feel anything. I, when my kidneys came alive, I didn't feel it. I just meditated. Now you don't need to do that. No. You don't need to vibrate. Just say Holy Spirit. By the power of His resurrection. In the name of Jesus, flow through my body. Touch. Tell him where to touch. Speak to him. Touch my kidneys. Tell him where you should touch. Touch my body. Touch my heart. Touch my loins. Touch my kidneys. Are you speaking to him? Touch. Speak to him. You'll be shocked what will happen. By the power of his resurrection. Touch my heart. Somebody's kidneys will jack back right now. Somebody's dead heart will jack back right now. Somebody's eyes that were going blind will receive sight in the name of Jesus. So Holy Spirit, by the power of his resurrection, touch my body in the name of Jesus. Everyone is quickened by the Holy Ghost. And somebody's dead business has come alive. Amen. Dead brain has come alive. Amen. Dead organs have come alive. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord, church. This young lady said she comes, she's coming from Biosa. She has been diagnosed of having a degenerative bone disease of the spine. That is, her spine has been undergoing degeneration. She couldn't bend and she has been in intense pain. But by the demonstration of the power of the resurrection, immediately the book touched her. The pain that she has been experiencing is completely gone. She can bend and do what she couldn't do before. Are you giving Jesus the resurrected one that hand? If book can transmit resurrection power, then I want you to know that wherever you are in any part of the world, Something's about to happen. If you have a business, bring the business upon your contact. Anything that you feel life should surge in. If it's your body, just believe. And you see miracles will happen wherever you are. Whatever is dead will receive life now. Yeah. I want your heart to be set and say, oh, by the power of resurrection. Holy Spirit, quicken. What do you want to quicken? Be very specific. Quicken this business. Quicken my body. Quicken my heart. Quicken my organs. Quicken my body. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Speak to God. By the power of resurrection. Don't, don't think you vibrate. Just tell him you will be shocked. Quicken my kidneys. Quicken my ears. Quicken my eyes. By the power of his resurrection. Are you talking to God? Miracles will be happening without sweat. Resurrection power will work in your life. In the name of Jesus, right now. Somebody who has stroke is healed in the name of Jesus. You're in a wheelchair, get up in the name of Jesus. You have your father's picture that kidneys are packed up. Put your hand on that picture where the kidneys are packed up. Now I speak life to those parts of your body and I command the kidneys to begin to walk in the name of Jesus. Amen. I command the heart to walk in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every dead organ begin to receive life in Jesus' name. Amen. If you believe it, say, I receive it. Amen. Resurrection is the giver of life. Somebody is well. Amen. Oh, you move your body like this, you'll be shocked. You are well. Move your body and turn it, turn it, turn it. 
is that pain is gone in the name of Jesus you are free I hear God as a man, he has his friend. Put your hand this way. Say, by the power of his resurrection. The power of God go through my hands. Let the power of his resurrection go through my hands. And whatever I touch, there will be a transmission of life. Right now. In the name of Jesus touch any path or anything, you'll be shocked what will happen. Just touch anything and speak to that path. Touch anywhere with that hand and speak to that hand, to that path of your body. You'll be shocked what will happen in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and talk through that part of your body in the name of Jesus. Jesus mighty name when you get home lay your hands on your children with this hand you'll be shocked those children will never break down and their brains will come alive yeah. in the name of Jesus if they are not there use their names write their names on a piece of paper put your hand on it and speak over their names and on their pictures as I hear God put your hand on your passport as a passport now receive life no matter where you go to nobody will deny you visa in the name of Jesus. On your CV, put this hand when you get home. Put the hands on your CV. Are you guys now? Put hand. Anything you touch now with this understanding, life goes through it. Amen. You may be sitting in the name of Jesus. Number six. Number six. Resurrection frees you from condemnation. The sixth thing resurrection does is to free you from what? Condemnation. Resurrection frees you and I from condemnation. Romans 4, 24, 25. Romans 4, 24, 25. The Bible says, But for us also, whom shall be imputed, if we believe on him, raise God for that. Then Romans 5, verse 1. Who was delivered for our what? Therefore, being justified by faith through, we have peace through God, our Lord. Now, look at Romans 8 and verse 33. Romans 8. Let me take Romans 8 1 first before I read 33. Romans 8 1. It said, Therefore, now know what? Condemnation to them which are in Christ, or walk not after the flesh, but after what? There's no more now. Know what? No more condemnation. Satan can't condemn you anymore. So I hear. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ who? Who walk not after the flesh but after what? The spirit. Verse 3. It says, who shall lay anything to the charge of God's what? He let. It is God that justified. So resurrection frees you from condemnation. Jesus was raised for our justification. So Satan cannot lay any charge against us. Say here. There's a say I'm justified. Say it one more time. Satan, you can't lay anything against me. Let allow the devil remind you of your past. God has freed you from what? Condemnation. It cannot, let me tell you something that is so powerful. 
that many don't understand. I've used it to pray for as many as I prayed for, they've had testimonies. Do you know, no matter how you make mistake, no unbeliever is permitted to judge you. <laughs> Did you hear me? The only person who can judge you is God. No unbeliever is permitted to put you on the spot and say, I condemn you. If you have deep revelation, I don't mean that you should go and misbehave. And that's not what I'm talking about. Please understand what I'm saying. But no unbeliever, because Jesus stood before Pilate, so you will not be judged. Every price he paid for was for you and I. So sinners cannot put you and say, we sentence you. Are you getting what I'm saying? Life story in this church, they were setting a panel where they brought people. And a member came and said, sir, I don't want to appear in this panel. And I said, read Romans 8.33. The person read 8.33. I said, based on that, you will never appear before that panel. That was the only person who did not appear before the panel. Somebody held an office in this church, top, and they invited the person to a known organization, which I won't call the name. And I said, read this scripture. The person read, I said, go there, and they will not ask you one question. The person went, no question. Because we shall lay charge against God's elect. It is only him that has that power over you. The reason why he rose from that was to set you free. Don't ever have a sense of guilt. The devil should not remind you. Are you hearing me now? Every time Satan wants to bring to your remembrance, tell him there's no more contamination. I am now in Christ Jesus. By the power of resurrection, I am free. Say it, I am free. Say it one more time. Say it like a child of God. Say it and mean it. I can't be condemned. Not by the devil, not by his agents. Shout a better amen. amen. Shout a loud amen. amen. I command everywhere you are feeling a sense of condemnation, it will be wiped off completely. Amen. Number seven, resurrection makes you to be spiritually sensitive. Resurrection makes you spiritually what? Sensitive by resurrection. In John chapter 21, 5 and 6, they were fishing and they could not catch fish after a rose. He said, Then just say unto them, Children, have you any meat? They answered him, No. Verse 6 said, And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and they shall find. They cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes. He gave them specific instruction after he rose. In case you are grooming in darkness, you don't know what next to do, by the power of his resurrection, you will get direction. Amen. Let your amen be strong. Amen. He said, waken it my ears morning by morning. Is that through? May your ears be wakened to hear from God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you getting what God is saying? You'll be spiritually what? Sensitive. You begin to pick signals by the power of his. Every spiritual deafness I command you to live right now. Amen. You will hear God distinctly in the name of Jesus. Amen. For time's sake, number eight. Let me close with number eight because of time. By resurrection, we manifest our sonship. By resurrection, we manifest what? Our sonship. By resurrection, we manifest our sonship. Obadiah chapter 1 verse 21. It says, Saviors. And Saviors shall come up on Mount Zion to join the Mount of Esau. And the kingdom shall be the Lord's. It says, Saviors. I mean, what will happen? Saviors. Romans 8, 19 to 21. Romans 8, 19. For the earnest expectation of creation waited for the manifestation of the world, sons of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity not willing, and by reason of him who had subjected the same in hope. 21. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption to the glorious liberty of the children of God. Shout hallelujah. So the resurrection power equips you for manifestation, not explanation. You have been endued with power from on high to manifest. So what? Do you know by resurrection power, you have been endued to what? Manifest. So it is a shame for a Christian to join an occult group. Every Christian that belongs to the occult is a shame. Is it what? Because we have the highest realm in the spirit realm. In the supernatural, Christianity is the highest. He said, you have been 
by resurrection, he has brought you, permit me, initiated you into the highest realm of spiritual power. You are not in any, so for you at the highest realm to condescend low, to join your cult is an abuse to redemption. He said, you are saviors. You are what? He said, you are to manifest the resurrection power. So for a Christian now to come down, to what? Come down to belong to your cult, you have disgraced Christianity. You don't know what you carry. Now listen to what God said. I, I give you power to tread upon serpents and what? You will tread upon serpents and scorpions. Who is serpent? Satan. Who is serpent? I gave you power to Luke 10, 19. You have been given power to tread upon serpents and what? He said the old serpent. Is that not the devil? Listen now. Listen. Read your Bible. The old what? Revelation 12. And I give you power to tread upon what? Serpents and, and nothing shall by enemies hurt us. So how can God give you power to tread the devil and you now, now submit to the devil? Oh God of heaven. Listen, he said, I give you power to tread upon the devil himself. Now he said the devil is under what? Your feet. Is that the truth? Am I communicating with you? How can the devil be under your feet and now you subject yourself to him? Oh my God. The devil is under who? Your feet. You now bow to the one under your feet. When a Christian goes down to join your cult, you disgrace Christianity. You are a shame. You are an abuse to redemption. You don't know what you carry. It's like a prince going to beg a housemate for food. Today you see Christians go down low, join your cult, because they don't know what they carry. It's all powers in heaven and earth has been given unto me. How can you carry all the power? You now go down to a lesser power. But the president begs the state governor for assistance. Something's wrong. You didn't hear me. In fact, a president begs the local government chairman. Governor is too big. A president of a nation. He said, local government chairman, can you give us money? What will you think, president? Wouldn't you be looking at the president? Just imagine the president of a nation. Making a, a local government chairman and say, please assist the country. Is, that, is it normal? That's how when a Christian goes down to the occult. <laughs> it's abnormal. It's what? It's an abnormality. It's an error. It's an abuse to redemption. I give unto you what? Power. So I hear. In all powers. In heaven and on earth. So I hear. Whew. So I'm too loaded. So resurrection is not just coming to wear good clothes and displaying Easter and eating rice. It's a revelation of the demonstration of the power of God. It's right here. But to make that power work for you, I said something in the first service, be born again. Be what? Roman, uh, John 1, 12. Two, test for power. Test for what? Test for it. Anything you don't test for, God cannot satisfy you. Psalm 63, 1 to 2. Then sit with the word and build your faith. Sit with the word and build your faith. Because inside the word has the, lies the power of God. Romans 1, 16. You must be a word addict to encounter power. Is that clear, sir? I saw from God's word. I will build my church and the gates of it shall not prevail. I became intoxicated. I became what? Power intoxicates. I mean, you know, power intoxicates. When you are empowered, are you going to say now? Life story. They came to bring down this church and I came out and I said, listen, if you touch one block here and you stay till tomorrow, God is not the owner of this church. I was intoxicated. When you are empowered, you behave like a drunken man. Who think you're arrogant? You're not arrogant. So, resurrection is not just for us to call. So, just a demonstration of power. Do you know what? Christianity without power will be a frustrated thing. You'll be so frustrated. Are you getting me? Jesus displayed the highest power with resurrection. So, he said, boy, display it. He said, occupy it like come. Be displaying this part like come. So for a Christian to be begging a witch, you are, they should flog you. I had to pack out of our compound because that wizard. Is... All the demons here packed out of the area. They left here. For you. Somebody came to me and said, the neighbors are warning me. I said, stay there. I won't pray. Neighbors warning me, I pray. I said, I'm not praying. Pray what? If you see a pig pursuing a lion, won't you run? The Bible refers to the devil as a pig and refers to you as a lion of the tribe of Judah. Jesus was lion of and he, the father sent him. How can you be running for a witch? The witch, the witch. 
The witches should run from you. Are you getting me now? Live story, we are walking in my com our compound and a bird was flying across. It fell at the center and died. It's a no-fly zone. No witch can fly across this territory. You, you, you can't fly. If you just come in here, yeah, you fall down. That's the end of you. Are you getting me? You are now running. My friend, you are too loaded. It's a savior's out of fire. Savior's not to... He said, for the endless, we waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Not explain, we have explained too much. Oh God, oh God, what? Da! Sit up! Easter Sunday is for empowerment of saints. To tell the devil, devil, all powers have been given unto me. You don't have to harass me anymore. Get out of my environment. In the name of Jesus. Rise to your feet. <laughs> so I'm in charge here. Say it one more time. Say it like a child of God. So open my eyes. Paul said, Elemas, you sorcerer, you mean you came here to disturb? Be blind. Paul, Paul did not go say, Elemas, Elemas, I beg you now. Are you going to worry my preaching? Elemas, Elemas, don't be, I beg you, don't, don't, don't worry my preaching. Is Elemas, be blind. You sorcerer, be blind for a season. A season can be a lifetime. I went to a place called Obima. I said, Obima. Um, Ebeda. Ebeda is in Ekwere River State, Nigeria. And one boy was so notorious, he was displaying his negative power. When I mean negative power, he was the head of the occult group. So when I was talking, this is how they were doing him with one big towel. They would do like this. He's not the one, who, somebody will come and clean his face like this. I will preach, I will preach. They will come and clean his face. He was so arrogant. He stood in front of me. He will see the arrogance in him. I said, what nonsense is this? He was so arrogant He's with the boys around him, these bad boys. I pointed my finger at him in front. I said, listen you, if you don't accept Christ, you are gone. Everybody was afraid because he's a dreaded, notorious killer. I said, listen, I didn't come to this village for nonsense. If you don't give your life, you're gone. In less than one month, he was dead. They shot him dead. The same boy bullet does not enter, bullet entered him. But he, Everybody in the village, they are born again. Because the most notorious boy died with one bullet. But if I went there, oh boy, no, they do so now. No, they do so. You know, I can't preach. He will not say, oh, no, no, see, Pastor David, even when they come, no, see, I show and say, now we get this town. The most notorious, not, most notorious is not equal to you. That is letting the most and let your occult man be the highest occult person. What you carry is more than him. <laughs> David said, you are circumcised. Now listen, Goliath did not come alone. He said, the gods of the Philistines. So he came with some demons. Read your Bible. He said, he, he came with demons against Israel. He didn't just come home. He came not with the physical armor. He also came with gods. He said, the gods of Egypt. Did you hear that? All these are called, but you are carrying the resurrection power. You say, You devil, challenging the God I have, you are gone. That I'm robber, you are not born. You are assassin, you are not born. I sentence you in seven days. God said, You understand what it is. So, resurrection is not just Easter, Easter Sunday. We don't come now with the chop bread. No, no, it's a display of what? Power. And if there's no power, there'll be no Christianity. There will be no what? When the boy went to Kaduna, they said Bangida was coming. He said Bangida will not come. They said, Where are you? He said Bangida is coming for. He said, Look, Bangida is not coming for this, this day. And Bangida did not come when he was in power. 50 Cent was to minister, I've told you before, was to, not minister, was to perform. Was to what? <laughs> was, to, <laughs> was to perform, was to perform in Port Harcourt. The same day we are holding crusade. The same day. As if 50 Cent, he was at the peak of his career. When 50 Cent was shaking the entire world. But that God was on a standstill waiting for him. As if this guy comes today, even those who are planning the crusade will go for dating. <laughs> so I came up on the altar. I have not got to this level. I came up on the altar at Civic Center. I said, listen, I like a young man from America is coming to perform. He's not coming. <sighs> Somebody said, ah, if this 50 Cent... Let me call up. He said, if this guy no come, I go give my life. 
People have bought tickets, including even church people have bought tickets. I said, 50 cents will never come to Port Harcourt. Hear me? Two kings carrying, kind of Jesus carrying, kind of and the devil in. Everybody was waiting what will happen. By the day, the following day, 50 cents boarded the flight to come to Port Harcourt. Inside the flight, there was confusion. They were trying to fight. Americans called him and said, return back to America. Don't risk your life. Then he did not come. If you see crowd, you see crowd. Because all the people who had to go for disco came for crusade. Say power. That is what resurrection is all about. Resurrection is not for you. Jesus is coming soon. Amen. And then now change your voice. You know they come and see him. Be baptized without power in the name of Jesus. Show me, I have been born into power. Holy Spirit, open my eyes to have depth of understanding of the power of his resurrection. That I will walk. That is W-A-L-K. That I will walk in the reality of the power of his resurrection. Pray that prayer for yourself in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. You get into that power by being born again. Pray this prayer after me wherever you are. Say, Lord Jesus, I've come to you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose from dead. Thank you, Father, for forgiving me. In Jesus' mighty name. If you offer that prayers, keep standing, others take their seats. If today is your very first day, this Easter Sunday, to be with us, to play with us, kindly stand. We want to welcome you specially. You are too special on behalf of the head of the church, Jesus Christ. We want to welcome all of you. Those of you who went out for so many years, may God reward you. And everyone standing right now, we pray that you have come in today. We change your story for life. You will never remain the same. Keep coming, and God will keep changing your story. In Jesus' mighty name, give thanks to God for His word. Praise the Lord. It's offering time. Nothing leaves heaven until something leaves the earth. So nothing leaves the hand of God to bless you until you release your offering to the kingdom of God. And remember that whatever you are given never finishes. God will keep blessing you in the name of Jesus. So package your offering to appreciate God. Today being Easter day, make sure you give him a quality offering so that you will keep prospering in Jesus' name. Lift your offering and appreciate God. Thank you because it's a privilege to give. Thank you, my appreciating. Father, accept our offerings. We appreciate you in Jesus' mighty name.
shame of the dead you have prevailed Jesus Praise the Lord. Please, you may be seated. Good news. We have a new book. New book in the commission. The theme, the title of the book is Walking in the Supernatural. Just what we have taught now is what is in this book. How can you walk in the world? Supernatural. Find out how to walk in the supernatural. The book has been dedicated in the first service already. So get a copy and get for people all over the globe and be blessed of it. If you think knowledge is expensive, Satan will always use ignorance to buffet you. But that will not be your portion. This is a church where we like knowledge and we acquire knowledge. So go for knowledge. There will be Thanksgiving prayers for those born in March, married in March, give their lives in March. Come with your friends and we wish us in the fourth service. Tuesdays, home fellowship at 6 p.m. Locate any house close to you. Also use a house as cell centers, as home fellowship centers. Thursday will be the first midweek service in the month of April. The month of April is a month of wisdom for greater exploits. Wisdom for greater exploits. That's the month. It's a month of wisdom for greater exploits. So Thursday service will be excelling without limits. Excelling without limits. Find out on Thursday. Saturday we are going for evangelism because of the week of spirit empowerment. We have to fix it the second week because our anniversary will be on the third, third, thirteenth. Sorry, thirteenth of April will be twenty-seven years this ministry. God has helped us, and to him we give all the glory. Come with your cards on Saturday at 8 a.m. We'll go out for evangelism. The hand is already dedicated so that we can go out and God will bless us. Is that through? And Sunday is praise for greater exploits. <laughs> praise for greater exploits. The week of the empowerment starts on the 9th of April through to 11th of April the 13th anniversary, for the information will be given to you. Amen? Always invite souls. As I stood there, God said to me, those who left will return. Amen. Most of our old members, please, when they call, receive them well. When God speaks, it means you've already done it. Don't say old members, say, I think you come out. Why come back? No, no. <laughs> Don't say so. Don't ever say so. Are you hearing me now? Rather open your arms and receive them with love. Don't say, you leave, work out everywhere. I can't come back now. No, don't do like that. You are not, that's not the life of a child of God. Because God spoke to me and I said, most of them will return. And, uh, so open your arms and what? Receive them. That shows love. Don't say, I think you said you will, you will leave. Even if they abuse me, don't attack them. Amen? If they say, I have bald head, will you not change it? Will I wear afro? It will say to be bald head, so that's not change. It's somebody's opinion. Will you, there, is there any afro? I saw two boys yesterday with Dada. Oh, I said, boy, will I take part of her hair and put it there? Laughed. The, the two of them had the same kind of rasta hair. We led them to Christ. We had eight people in the first service. Eight persons in the first service. I don't know how many a day in the second service. My wife would tell me. She brings me the report. I do preaching. She is a reporter. <laughs> <laughs> two of us went out yesterday for our souls. And then eight came in the first service. Not too far, just here, where mechanics stand. And then mechanics stand, and then we just were winning souls for Jesus. I was happy seeing souls for Christ. Rise to your faith. How many of you went out yesterday? May the Lord reward you. May the hand of God be distinguished, distinguished in the midst of your prayers. And the name, everybody lift your hands to heaven. The reason for Easter is to demonstrate the power of resurrection. Go and exemplify it. Amen. Everywhere you go from now and the month of April, I decree shall be your best month. 
As this church celebrates in April, you will celebrate in April. Yeah. There shall be no evil report concerning you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. As this month is ending today, remember to praise God this night. As this month is ending today, I decree end time to the new month with testimonies. Yeah. Be blessed as you go. Yeah. In Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. The grace together, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet of the Holy Spirit, Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever. Amen. Please look at three people and say to them, Happy Easter. If you are set for an encounter in this tour service, make a joyful noise. I know God has blessed you with the testimonies for those at the global headquarters proceed to the social door. Pastors and officials are waiting to document your testimonies in Philippians chapter 3 and verse 10 that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. You appreciate God for the power of his resurrection you will encounter better understanding of God's word. Raise your voice. Appreciate him. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We give you all the glory for the power of his resurrection. You will encounter Peter exalted, Peter magnified in Jesus' mighty name. He has said us appreciate him. Magnify the name of the Lord. Exalt him because he is worthy of all our praise. Hallelujah. All heaven Declare mm -hmm. the glory of the risen Lord. Who can compare with the beauty? Oh,
living God, amen. We are standing the living Father, amen. The God that died that rose is worthy to be praised. I am serving the living God. We are serving the living Father. We are serving the living God. Living Father, Living Father, Living Father, Living Father, 
shout your praise, make a joyful noise. You are not a man, dependable father. You died a rose. You have never changed. It has never changed. Bigger than the biggest, stronger than the strongest. Mighty God, 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 mighty God. Lift him higher. worship in the name of Jesus Christ. You may please be comfortably seated in God's presence. In Papa's book, Unveiling the Power of John 3.16, Papa said until you touch God's word with your heart, virtue will not be released for you to enhance your value. Jam your hands to the glory of God as we invite the following testifiers to share their testimonies. <laughs> Clap like you are the next testifier. <laughs> Wisdom, Bariduanen, Oye Mowo, Justina Michael, God's Time Jace, Emedion Divine James, Omar Eke Paul, and Ekemini Wobo. While they come, listen to the following information. In preparation A very for warm April... welcome to Easter service. Good news. In preparation for April Week of Spiritual Empowerment 2024 with the theme, Wisdom for Greater Exploits, there will be Global Mass Evangelism on Saturday, 6th April 2024 at the Global Headquarters and all our branches. Prayers will be transmitted at 8 a.m. Please come with your cars. That prescription for sound Christian life is the Word of God. Salvation Word of Life Bible Institute presents High International Basic Certificate course for the month of April 2024. Basic Certificate course will be both live and online for countries with GMT plus one or minus one time zones to participate. Nigeria inclusive. Pastors hosting Bible school should please announce at their branches. School begins on Monday 8th and ends Friday 19th of April. 2024. Please note, school fee scholarship is available for students who cannot afford it. For registration, visit worldbe.smhos.org or call any of the numbers as displayed. 
or visit the Knowledge Center or e-store at smhostore.com immediately after the fourth service to obtain today's message and all the messages in hard copy and flash drive. Or subscribe to our money collections on MP3 and DVD. Amongst the materials are message commanding abundance and scarcity, March 2024, week of spiritual empowerment, glory rain 2024, MP3 and DVD. Books, manifesting God's glory, Holy Spirit consciousness, wonders of His grace, knowing the person of the Holy Spirit, the helper of the helpless, walking in the anointing and Holy Spirit my helper. In a character retarding world, Wisdom Bank provides resource materials designed to facilitate learning, mold and shape your children's character to reflect Christ. Visit the Wisdom Bank to acquire the materials that will distinguish your children or call the number as displayed. To commit to kingdom advancement and expansion, please refer to the detailed information on your screen. Also for profit offerings, send your seed to the account as displayed. Those desiring to build worship centers in any of the categories displayed on the screen, please call the Global Missions Office on any of the numbers as displayed. As part of our Children's Day Celebration 2024, the Children Ministry announces Leading Lights Essay Competition for children between ages 5 to 11. This is to inspire and harness the creativity of our children. Parents and guardians are to visit smhos.org slash leading lights to register their children or pick the forms at their various branches. Registration ends on Sunday, 7th April 2024. For further inquiry, call any of the numbers as displayed. Okma International Academy Infant Junior and College announces admission into pre-kindergarten primary 1 to 5 and year 7 GSS 1 for 2024-2025 academic session. Applicants are to fill and submit an online application form at okma.org.ng. Note, applicants for the college must be 10 years by September 2024. For entrance examination, dates, venues and all the details, please visit okma.org.ng or call any of the numbers as displayed. In the fourth service today, there are a thanksgiving prayer for those who are born, those who got married, and those who gave their lives to Christ in March. Note, please come with your friends and well-wishers for the thanksgiving, and thereafter, do your reception. There will be service group prayers on Friday, 5th of April, 2024, for Sanctuary Units at the Kingdom Arena for those at the Global Headquarters at 5 p.m. All concerned should fast before coming. Water baptism holds immediately after this service, while live foundation class for new converts and believers holds tomorrow Monday by 5 p.m. and on Saturday by 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. respectively at the Global Headquarters and all hard branches globally. The class is designed to give you stability in your Christian adventure. Please come with your writing materials. To receive daily prayers, prophecies, and wisdom quotes for living, like, share, and follow David Ibiomi on Facebook, at David Ibiomi on Instagram, at David underscore Ibiomi, X at David Ibiomi. Enjoy yourself in God's presence. God bless you. Your name and testimony. Praise the Lord, Church. My name is Oimo Josna Maike. My testimony is on academic success. Papa said all the child in this commission will not be in failure. I said amen. To the glory of God, this second time I was in the third class, I'm here to give God all the glory. Your name and your testimony. My name is Jess Gustav. I've come to give all the glory that in my class I have an award. In my school, I took first position and I have an award. Glory be to God. Your name and your testimony. Praise the Lord, church. My name is Omar A.K. Paul. My testimony is on healing. I gave back last month. It has not been easy for me, but God led me through. After the surgery, I started having complications the next day. A headache that would just go for two days lasted for six days. I had to come to church and met some pastors. They prayed for me and anointed me. And I had to sow a seed of thanksgiving into the life of Papa, believing that the same grace back in Papa, that same grace will answer to me. And that grace answered to me. I came to give God all the glory. And she is healed. Your name and testimony. Praise the Lord. I'm a Kemini Wobo. I want to thank God for seeing me successfully through the first part of my residency training. I was preparing for my exam. I sowed seed. I asked God to help me. And God spoke through God's servant. They built me to my husband and said, tell her that she will not write that exam twice. That she will pass it once. And that was it. I went in and came out successfully. I'm here to return all the glory to God. Your name and your testimony. Church, praise the Lord. 
My name is Image on Divine James. I want to thank God for Divine Help. Uh, last week, I was awarded a contract that was bigger in my business. That was the first time I was given such contract. So I was scared deep inside me. So now I ask the Holy Spirit to help me. Just last week, the work was concluded and the client was satisfied and all the payment was made. I'm here to give God all the glory. The Holy Spirit will help you in this service in Jesus' name. Your name and testimony. My name is Wisdom Baridranem. His name is Harmony Baridranem. His healing, his testimony is on healing. Yesterday, when he woke up, his body was very hot. He was vomiting. Then that same yesterday, we went out with my mom for evangelism. Then as we came back, he got his healing. Praise the Lord. The same God is here to give your own testimonies. Shall we rise to our feet and return the glory back to God? Faithful God will return all the glory back to you for doing these great and mighty wonders in our midst. Thank you, mighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. You may please be seated as we invite the leading light for their presentation. Please keep clapping as they come. Now Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she cried, she bent over to look inside the tomb and saw what a Jew in white. Oh man, why I cry? They have taken my Lord away and I don't see where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus standing there. He said, Why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Mary, thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, please, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will get him. Mary. Now Mary recognized him. It was Jesus. He's alive. Ramboni, do not hold on to me, for I have not ascended to my father. Go instead and tell my brothers that I am ascended to my father, my father, my Lord, I your God. Now Mary ran to tell the disciples the news. Jesus is alive. He is alive. Jesus is alive. He is alive. Oh, Peter, I have been looking for you everywhere. Wonderful news. Jesus is alive. I don't think so. Mary, just calm down. Count to ten. No, really. Jesus is alive. I have seen him. No, Mary, calm down. You are imagining things. Grief does that. You think you have seen the person who has died because you can't really believe they are dead. No, but... You saw how Jesus was beaten. You saw Jesus nailed to the cross. You saw how he suffered. You... No, but... You saw him die. You saw the soldiers pierce his side with a spear. You saw him taken down from the cross dead. You saw him put in that tomb. No, but Peter, listen, the tomb is open, it's empty, and I saw Jesus near the tomb. He called my name, he spoke to me. No, Mary, I don't think so. Yes, I did see him, he did speak to me, and he told me to come and tell you. Aren't you going to go and see for yourself? 
If you want to listen, I will go and tell the others. Jesus is alive. He is alive. I think she must be hysterical. But if the tomb is empty, I had better go and find John and go and see what has happened. Could it possibly be true? Could Jesus be alive? Can it be true that Jesus is alive? Happy Easter. He has risen. Jesus is alive. God bless you.
voice and give God all the glory. Father, we magnify you. We give you all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. And please be seated in God's presence as we go to him in prayers. God's word speaking in the book of Isaiah 43 verse 13. I will walk and who shall let it? Luke 5 and verse 17. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. Cast out Satan from contending with the manifestation of incredible miracles and harvest of souls in today's services. Pray that God's power be revealed in all salvation ministries, churches, both our online platform. Lift up your voice. Pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I will walk and who shall let it? He said, in my name shall you cast out the devil. In the name of Jesus Christ, Satan will come against you. Every position you have taken to contend with the manifestation of incredible miracle, this resurrection Sunday, the blood of Jesus is against you. Any attempt to hinder the harvest of souls in today's services, in all churches of salvation ministries, both our online worshippers, Lord of Jesus against you, we pray that this day God's power be revealed in all our churches, online platforms, in Jesus' mighty name. Acts of the Apostles 14 and verse 17. Nevertheless, he left not himself without witness, in that he did good, gave us rain from heaven and fruitful seasons, filling our hearts with food and gladness. Pray that this celebration Sunday shall mark the emergence of diverse testimonies in the lives, families, businesses, careers, academies, and so on, of journey worshipers and salvation ministries. Lift up your voice, pray that prayer to God in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, he said when he rose, he gave gifts unto men. We pray that this resurrection Sunday shall mark the emergence of diverse testimonies in the lives, in the families, in the businesses, in the career, in the marriages, in the families of every genuine worshiper in salvation ministries across the globe. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. Give the Lord all the glory for answering our prayers. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise in Jesus' mighty name. Please be seated while officials read the faithfulness of God from our other churches. Testimony from Oburize, Chinenyengwa, Nigeria. At the start of the year, I wrote down on my expectation form for God's favor in my master's degree program application. I fasted and attended one of the church in the house program. Seeking divine intervention, God's servant asked for a point of contact so I used my passport. I hoped for a scholarship, but first needed an acceptance letter from a school. Usually, this process takes several weeks. Miraculously, a few hours after God's servant ministered, I received mine. This is a clear sign of God's timely intervention. Thank you, Lord. Testimony from Sylvester in Hige, London. I've been following God's servant's messages for years. In 2023, I applied for my son to join me in the United Kingdom as a British citizen, but he was refused by the Home Office in June 2023, and I appealed against their decision. The tribunal hearing was on the 20th of March 2024, and on the 19th, I joined the online morning devotion. As God's servant said, we should write anything we want God to do for us. I wrote that God should have turned the decision in my favor through the judge. On the 25th, March 2024, the judge presided over the case and granted my son's appeal. I give God all the glory. Salvation Ministries Church along New Sapele Abo Road, Delta State, Nigeria. Obiaruku, Delta State, Nigeria. Since 2019, I was diagnosed with uterine fibroid, which was symptomatic with abdominal uterine bleeding and abdominal pain. Each time I plan to go for a surgery, the Holy Spirit instructs me not to go. I lived with this pain and bleeding, carrying pad everywhere I go. On day 15 of the 21 days pre-glory reign fasting and prayer service, God's servant mentioned my case. I claimed the word and keyed into it. I went back home and checked myself. The bleeding and all that symptom has stopped. That's a miracle. I return all the glory to God. 
Salvation Ministry Church Number no. One Geo Aki Road by Elias will fly over Port Harcourt River State, Nigeria, from Tabia and Windom. One of my ears was blocked with disability to hear. During the third service on the 24th of March 2024, someone testified about the same issue, and my faith grew, believing God for my own healing. Shortly afterwards, I checked myself and realized I could hear very well. Furthermore, in 2018, I had an issue with one of my causes in school, and it was a great concern to me. I came for church service and declared the word of God, believing all will end in my favor. And to the glory of God, my papers are now complete. God is faithful. So I will please again rise and give God all the glory. Our hands to heaven, magnify the King of all kings. Let's glorify His name forever, give Him praise and glory. Exalt Him because no one is like Him on this Easter day. Go ahead and just tell God, Thank you for giving you life to see this day. I appreciate Him for the gift of life to see this special day. Go ahead, wherever you are in any part of the world, and tell God, Thank you for the gift of life. Blessed be God forever in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Paul speaking in Philippians 3 verse 10, he said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. Changes will occur proportionate to the level of knowledge you have. Your level of knowledge, that means how you move in life. Lord, I desire to know more. Whatever you have seen is based on the knowledge you have for this moment. If you acquire more, if you know more, you will go better. Changes will never occur because you come to church. Changes will occur when you have knowledge in that area of your life, that will be proportional everywhere you are, nice where knowledge has stopped you. If you increase in knowledge, you also grow in life. Lord, I desire to know you better. And the power, look at the scripture, and the power of his what? That means he desired to know something he never knew. Paul was speaking. He said that I may know him and the power of his what? So resurrection is something you must have knowledge about. It's not enough to say, well, Easter, Easter. Without resurrection, there wouldn't have been Christianity. Are you getting what I'm saying now? That today we have Christianity is because resurrection is, is real. Lord, I desire to know the power of your resurrection. Go ahead and pray that prayer for yourself in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and talk to God in the name of Jesus. I desire to know the power of your resurrection. Reveal to me the power of your resurrection. Speak to God in the name of Jesus that I may know you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And Jesus, mighty name, may everyone's eyes be open to have understanding of God's word. In Jesus' mighty name, give me a big hand. You may be seated. <laughs> Welcome your neighbor with a high five and tell everybody to celebrate you. Praise the Lord. Today is Easter Sunday. We'll be looking at understanding the power of his resurrection. The purpose of resurrection. Purpose of what? His resurrection. Here is an Yami world. We live in a wicked world. We are destinies at the risk without empowerment. I said we live in a wicked world. We are destinies at risk without empowerment. He said the whole world lies in wickedness. First John 5.19 it said, give respect to the covenant for the ability of the earth are full of cruelty. Psalm 24 verse 20. So you need to be empowered. You need to be what? To live in this wicked world. If you must triumph over the wicked, you must have understanding of the power of his resurrection. It is understanding of his resurrection that make a triumph over the force of wickedness. We have read in Philippians 3.10. Here is an Yami where we are redeemed to manifest the power of God. He said, For the earnest expectation, Romans 8 19, for the earnest expectation of creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. They want to manifest that Jesus is real. Is that clear? They are tired of your explanation. They want you to manifest. You don't have to tell them Jesus is risen and then there's no sign that is risen. If Jesus is alive, then prove it. That's what he's saying. Is that clear? If Jesus is alive, then show it. 
You can't say Jesus is alive and then there's no proof in your life. Resurrection should have proofs. Should have what? How do we encounter the power of his resurrection? How do we encounter it? How do you encounter it? But Paul said that I may know him. That I may what? And the power of his resurrection. And the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable to his death. How do I encounter that power? That devil said, Jesus, I know Paul, I know who are you. That means when you encounter the power, your results, your proofs cannot be denied. No devil can deny. It's only a fool that can doubt proofs. If the proofs are there, nobody can deny it. Is that true? If you are sick and all of a sudden you get well, can anybody deny it? Nobody. If you are poor and then all of a sudden you are out of poverty, can anybody deny it? You are we, we clean and then you become so bold. Changes speak for themselves. Shout hallelujah. How do we encounter the power of his worth? Resurrection. How many want to encounter it? Your Christianity will never be colorful if you are not walking in the power of his resurrection. Nobody can be convinced with your English. A man of God called T.L. Husband, a blessed memory went to India. He said he preached and preached and preached and preached. Nobody was saved. Then he went back to America and said, God, why? God said, you went there with theology. He said, go back now with my power and see if the people will not be saved. He said, went back, the same hymn that went and preached. And when he went, this time miracles began to happen. And then all of a sudden, India erupted. What 50 messages can do, one miracle will do. Are you getting me? Life story. When I became born again, I was in Bible school. We went to a place called Mile 2 in Lagos. I've shared that story before. And I was preaching. Nobody. Lagos is a very funny town, the commercial city of Port of Nigeria. As I was preaching, when I get a hand, they say, Fill it. Fill it means leave me. They say, Fill it, Joe. Carry up uh, with the hungry. They say, Make it a preach. Uh, now, nobody listened to me. I said, God, what is this? Preach all the messages I was taught in Bible school. It was not working. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves They say, We know our God. Carry your hand. Be come out. Talk, 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 talk. All the grammar. I could not win any soul. The Holy Ghost said to me, Go and pray for that man with crushes. I said, Who? I said, me go and pray for somebody who crushes. I was a young believer. Inside me, I was afraid. Let me not lie to you. I have not read this level of Christianity. He said, go and pray for that man. I said, what if I pray and he doesn't drop his crushes? So you know what I did? As a young believer, I said, Oga, come. So the man came. I said, I want to pray for you. I, looked, I said, I, followed, I took him to the corner. You know what I took to the corner? In case it does not work. I don't. <laughs> If it does not work, I just run away from there. So I just shifted him to the corner. And then by the corner, the Holy Ghost said, Now tell him to drop the crushes. I heard the voice clearly. There was boldness. I said, Now drop your crushes in Jesus' name. He dropped and stood up. He stood up. My two erupted. The, bro bah! the place erupted. The whole crowd that was there, they said, Now give me a handbill. Give me a handbill. Give me a handbill. And on that, the son I said, I say after me, Lord Jesus, I said, Lord Jesus, come into, come into my life. What I could not do for almost two hours, I did it in another five minutes. The whole people got that. You have spoken too much English. You have spoken too much what? Now go and demonstrate the power of his... Everybody in your office will respect your Christianity. So here. Yes. And today you will encounter that power. Yes. Lift your right hand and say, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. reveal to me the power, the power of his resurrection. Now, how do you encounter the power number one? Through revelation. Through what? Revelation. Through revelation. Philippians 3.10, where we read, revelation is your gateway to encounter the power of Christ's resurrection. And revelation requires prayer, fasting, and studying of the word. Paul praying in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17 to 20, he said that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. That the eyes, the eyes of your what? Understanding, being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, which a wrath, verse 20 and 21, which a wrath in Christ when he raised him from the dead, read that, and set him at his own right hand in heavenly places, far above principalities and what? 
power and might and dominion every that is named, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. He said, now if the secret is revealed to you and you don't understand what it does, you will just deal with principalities and powers. So I hear. Now hear this. Satan's main and major target and assignment is to blind you. His work is to make sure you don't have access to the revelation of the truth. Because revelation establishes our dominion over the devil's kingdom. So what he does is to make sure you don't have knowledge of the truth. Am I talking to you, sir? As long as you don't have knowledge of the truth, he's very happy. You know his work in 2 Corinthians 4.4? 4, he said, in whom the God of this world has what? Blinded their minds the minds of them which believe not lives the light of the glorious gospel of Christ who is the image of God should shine upon them. So he does this. He does not want you to hear the truth. Are you getting me? He, because he knows if you know, you are flowing him. You flow him. So he would never want, he would prefer you to be groaning in, in darkness than to know the truth. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now listen. The power of his resurrection makes you have access to the what? The truth. I have fasted for breakthrough, yet I was breaking down because I had no knowledge. When knowledge came for the truth, I just laughed and I said, I can never be poor by knowledge. By what? In the midst of economic crisis, those who have knowledge are prospered in true glory to God. You pray and fast to enforce your asses. Now, hear this Psalm 119, verse 18. It said, Open thou my eyes that I may what? Behold. The eyes, not talking about physical eyes. It's talking about understanding. It's talking about what? Now, have you ever conversed with someone and the person was talking to you all of a sudden say, okay, I understand. I hear. Have you ever said so? Were you not hearing before? You were hearing, but you had no understanding. So also, when you read God's word and you get to the point of understanding, you find out that you become arrogant. You become intoxicated. You put your head shut up! No devil can come near here. Are you hearing me? I pray your eyes will open in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's a call upon me. And I would do what? Answer and show the great and mighty things with thou knowest not. Jeremiah 3 verse 3. So every time you fast and pray to reveal the secret. Now hear this. And hear me well. This church was not growing by the power of resurrection. And I one day and I sat down and I began to fast. And I said, God, show me the secret of church growth. And he said, church will never grow without a self-fellowship. That was how this church began to grow. He opened the veils to me. It's until you have a self-fellowship, church will never grow. Are you hearing me? Do you know why I don't panic if anybody threatens this church? I've never wanted to panic if you threaten this church. You know why? I saw by revelation that the church is not my own. You will never hear even by mistake in my mouth to say my church. I'm not the owner. Any man who says his church, that church is dead. Church cannot be owned by men. He said, I will build my church. You will never hear even by mistake. I say my church, never. I'm not the owner. And if you want to fight the owner, you are finished. Hello. Nobody can fight his church and survive. Can I show you from scripture? If you fight his church, it will grind you to powder. Matthew 21, 44. He said, And whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken. That means if you attack the church, it will break you. If the church attack you, they will grind you. Whichever way, you are not free. If you attack the church, you will be what? Broken. If the church attack you, grind you. That's what said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Matthew 16, 18. So the church is not owned by any mortal man. Are you getting me? Some people hear that say that they will be a church. You are, you, are, you, do, you are ignorant. You are what? You are full of ignorance. It's never my church. You will, have you ever heard in my mind my church? No way. You won't hear it. I won't even make that mistake. I'm not the owner. If, you, if the owner fights you, you are gone. That's why whoever attacks his church can't stand it. By revelation. By what? Now listen carefully. <laughs> that means if anybody wants to... Now listen. If I give you open your eyes, see revelation is powerful. That's what you're... Do you know nobody can attack you? Ask me how. Who is the church? 
<laughs> Who is the church? Is it this building? The church is you and I. We are called the body of Christ. Are you the church? That means if anybody decides to attack you, you will be broken to pieces. And if you attack the person, you grind him to powder. Say by insight. By revelation. Resurrection opens your eyes to deep things. Are you getting me now? That if you get up to attack somebody, that person is gone. Is what? You will grind the person to powder. You know how you smash egg on the ground? How will it happen? To pieces? That is how when it's in Jesus' name. He said, we grind him to what? Powder. They won't recognize you. The person, not you. That's how powerful you are. Say, open my eyes to see the truth of the gospel. That's what Paul said, that I may know him. And the power. How can Paul look at Elemas in Acts 13? It was part of the situation he was displaying. He said, Elemas the sorcerer. <laughs> He was displaying the power of what? He said, Elemas the sorcerer be blind for a season. And Elemas was blind. Was what? Was blind for a season can be a, a lifetime. A time to be born and a time to die. That's a season. That's what? Everything you decree this day will come to pass as you say it. So, Jesus' resurrection is a display of what? Power. Christianity is not a religion. It's a display of what? Power. So, here. You want to enjoy it? Then have access through what? Revelation. When revelation does not come by free, you fast, you pray, you read the word, and then your eyes will be open. Isaiah 58, 6, 8, 10. From this day, I pray your eyes be open in the name of Jesus. Then number two. How do we encounter the power of his resurrection? Through the blood of Jesus Christ. Through the blood of... Resurrection come, came. So resurrection came at the cost of the blood of Jesus Christ. Hebrews 13 verse 20. Revelation 12 verse 11. John 19 verse 30. Write them down. Hebrews 13 20. Revelation 12 verse 11. John 13 19 30. 19 30. Hebrews 13, 20. Revelation 12, 11. John 19, 30. He said it is what? Finished. In the first Corinthians 6, verse, verse 20. For ye are bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body and your spirit, which are God's. There's no force in hell that can resist the power in the blood. If you want to encounter the power of the nation, the blood of Jesus must have understanding of it. Zechariah 9, 11 to 12, 14. 11 to 14. It is the last card for man's redemption and glorification. It goes speaking in Exodus chapter 11. He said, I will do one more thing in verse 1. And after I bring one more plague, Pharaoh will let you go. In chapter 12, 1 to 13, but 2 and 13, he said, And this night will I pass through the land of Egypt, and I will deal with the gods. Is that clear? He said, Turn into a strong represent of even to the I declare I will render double unto you. Do you know how powerful the blood is? Without the blood, there will be no resurrection. Is that true? He shed his blood so you and I can come out. So here. And today, say, by the blood of Jesus. Say it one more time. All the forces in hell can't stop me. Say it one by the blood of Jesus. No force in hell can stop me. I'm advancing. I'll make progress. All the demons will go down by the blood of Jesus. Shout a better amen. amen. Shout a loud amen. amen. Now, what are the virtues and the power of his resurrection? I will taking them, I will not take it gently. What are the what? Virtues. Let me take it gently at this point. Shout hallelujah. Because we'll be ministering and we'll be going on. What are the virtues? Virtues in the power of his worth? A. The first virtue is for the restoration of our dominion. For the restoration of our worth? 
You know, when God created man, <laughs> the first thing God said to me, said, let them have what? Dominion. After he blessed what did he say? God said to man, let them have what? Dominion. Now listen, listen to me. Listen to very well. Man was in charge. True? Between Satan and man, who was in charge? Man. Satan was subject to man. He said, everything created is under you. True? Am I talking to you? Satan, until man fell, Satan was not in charge. Adam was what? Adam fell when he took instruction from Satan. Who you take instruction from becomes your master. When he took instruction from the devil, he took instruction from God, he became a servant of Satan. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 28, it said, and God blessed them, and God said, let them have what? Dominion. And man lost it through sin. You all know the story. Is that true? Now, when Jesus rose from dead, <laughs> in Matthew 28, verse 18, and Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, what? What did he say? Read it now. What did he say? It's given unto me where? He said, what you Adam lost has been given back. It's not for him, it's for you. So dominion has been given back to the church. It's right here. Are you getting what I'm saying? If Jesus took it and said, the Father sent him, so he sent us. John 20, 21. That means dominion is domicile where now? In the church. Where is the dominion? Who is in charge now? Oh my God. Who is in charge? Resurrection has Giving you that authority to exercise what? Dominion. Sir, here. Oh, my God. To say Satan is in charge is an insult to redemption. Who is in charge? Who is in charge? Who is in charge? The Holy Ghost gave me a very vivid illustration. It speaks to me by pictures. When they promote an officer in the military, you see, they will decorate him here. You see, somebody will stand and decorate him. Either the governor or a senior person will not take the new rank and begin to decorate him. Have you seen that before? He will not decorate the general. You see him, if he's the president, he will decorate the general. And then when they finish, you see a junior officer will go back like this and then and turn back. And from that day, that man with the new four star or five star, his status has changed. Is that true? He said, this is the chief of defense staff. He said, every military person that comes will throw their hand like this. Moisa. Why did they do that? Just the rank. What is it? The rank. It's no longer an ordinary person. The rank has changed the status. True? So Jesus put the rank over you and said, now you are in charge. As I have what? Dominion. What Adam lost, go and exercise it. So the devil should say to you, What? My sir. Who should salute you? Every time the devil sees you, what should he say? My sir. So you shouldn't be intimidated by the devil. Resurrection has bestowed on you an authority. Sir, here. Oh my God. <laughs> Who is in charge? You know what God said in Psalm 82 verse 6? He said they know not. Neither will they understand. Let's read verse 1 verse 5. He said they do not. Neither will they understand. They walk in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of curse. For ye are gods. And all of you are the children of the Most High. It's a prophecy. It's a what? This is a prophecy concerning John, sorry, John 10, 34, 35. Is that true? Am I correct? Jesus answered them, is it not written your law? I said, ye are what? 35. And if you call them, God to hold the scripture, keep the scripture and not be broken. Who is in charge? Who is in charge? Are you afraid? Say, by resurrection. By resurrection. Dominion, Dominion has been bestowed upon me. Say, so here. Now, listen carefully. Resurrection is a display of power. So, display of what? The traffic warden, once the uniform is on him, he does like this. With that car, that truck stop, I come again. The police traffic warden, when he wears that uniform, if it does like this, whether it looks or not, will a car, truck stop? 
And the natural can he stop the truck? The truck will grind him. But the uniform has bestowed on him an authority to do like this. True? If that truck does not stop, it's not challenging the policeman, challenging the federal institution. True? Am I communicating with you? Jesus, by resurrection, has bestowed on you all authority to say to the devil, stop. So resurrection placed on you that what? Authority. So you are not to be intimidated. You have to say, Satan, stop. This is a no-go area. So it's all power. All what? Power. So the power was given to who? To you. Say here. It's all power in heaven and on earth. I have taken them back and I've given it to you. So who is exercise it now? Then why are you not exercising it? Ignorance. Are you getting me? Well, from today, I command your eyes to be open. Yeah. I command your eyes to be open. Yeah. That amen is so weak. Yeah. I command your eyes to be open. Yeah. B. Access to the deep things of God. Access to the what? Deep things of God. Hebrews 9, 1 to 4. Matthew 27, 51. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twin from the top to the bottom. And the air did quake and the rocks rent. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Isaiah 4, 6. Isaiah 5, 13. You shall know the truth. John 8, 32. So, it has given you access to deep things. God is speaking. It's simply saying by resurrection, you should have access to the truth of the word. Is that true, sir? Revelation and insight. You deep, deep insight. Deep what? Insight to things of God. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Access to deep things. To what? Deep things. I won't say because I've talked so much on it. See, access to peace. Access to what? Peace. I want to take four of them at least. Access to peace. In John 20, 26. And after eight days again, his disciples we are within. And Thomas with them. And Jesus came, the doors being shut. I'm going to minister here. Miracles will happen now. And stood in the midst. Now listen. Resurrection has the ability to make you pass the unpassable. Cross the uncrossable. Listen. Please follow me. Follow me. Listen. The door was shut. The door was what? Jesus could pass through by resurrection power. Look at that scripture. Look at it. Don't, don't, at this point, nothing should distract you. And after eight days again, the disciples came with him and Thomas with them. Then Jesus came, the doors were being what? And stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. The doors were shut, but Jesus could pass through and stood in their midst. That means anywhere they've shut door against you, by the power of his religion, you still gain access to it. Yeah. <laughs> They said, don't employ him, but they will employ you. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I repeat, every door that was shut against you, after this moment, you have access to those places. Yeah. But say, by the power of his resurrection, no force, hell no force in hell can stop me. I will have access to my inheritance in Christ. Say it in faith. I will have access to all my inheritance in Christ by the power of his resurrection. That means you pass the unpassable. You cross the uncrossable. You beat everyone hands down and still make it in the name of Jesus. You have access. Say it have access. Say it one more time. Say it like a child of God. Where others never had access, you will have access. When others are queuing, you will bypass the queue. Yeah. Oh, listen, I've never gone anywhere and they keep me in the queue. Whether I know a person or not, somehow they'll just take me out of the queue. Not one, anyway, let line be like this. They'll just say, You go to the front. I break protocols anywhere in the world. I've gone one time to Europe and the line was long, I was already running late running late. I was rushing and I looked at the line. As I was coming, the man just said, come, 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 come. 
with all my regalia, all my shoes. I won't call the name of the country. Or everything on me. Normally, I'm supposed to push you. He just lifted it. Everyone was wondering, who is this man? He just lifted it. I said, go, 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 go. After I left, the next person was following me. He blocked it. He doesn't know me. He just said, go, 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 go. I just passed. My shoe was on. Everything was on. He said, pass. Never. They don't do that. You pull your shoe, pull your belt, put everything. So go, 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 go. Where they stop others, they won't stop you. I said, where they stop others, they won't stop you. Where they stop others, you won't be stopped. If you believe you have access, say amen to it. And to every storm in your life, I command peace. He said, peace, be still. Mark 4, 37 to 39. He said, be still and know I am God. I'll be exalted on the earth. Psalm 46 verse 10. Is it, uh, Exodus 14 14. Today marks the end of every storm in your life. Amen. You have access to what? Peace. You have access to what? Peace. That storm in your marriage is ending right now. Amen. That threatening divorce is ending right now. Amen. That family that has been shaking is ending right now. Amen. I command peace in the name of Jesus. Amen. D. It is our access to strength, health, vitality, and longevity. It is our access to what? Strength, health, vitality, and what? Longevity. I'm going to minister here because... <laughs> ah, let me minister. You'll be surprised. Nobody will be sick after now. Listen, if you flow with me, let them give you up for dead. You will get back to life. Man is a product of God's breath. I'm going to show you from scripture. He breathed into you and then you became a product of, of man. He became, he became a product called man. In Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7, and the, shall we do together? One to go. Everybody. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living soul. All God did to man was this. <sighs> and in John chapter 20, 21 to the 2. Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you. And as my father has sent me, even so send I you. Now let's read 22 together. After this, this is after the resurrection. Shall we read together? And when he has said this, he did what? He breathed upon him. He did the same thing that was done in the beginning. <sighs> you are a product of his breath. Is that true? So resurrection brings life back. How many can flow with me? At creation, what did God do? When Jesus rose, what did he do? <sighs> I may not understand it. Are you combining the two? Hey, And God formed men of the tusks. And God did what? He did like this. <laughs> into the nostrils. Is that true? Now what did Jesus do here? And when he has said this, he did what? He breathed on them. Is that true? John 20, 22. The same thing that was done in Genesis was done by Jesus. Is that true? And Jesus Christ is what? The same? Oh, you are not. Jesus Christ is the same? How many believe that he will breathe on you? Do you believe it? Say by the power of his resurrection. The breath of Jesus. Come upon me. Quicken me. In the name of Jesus. Now listen, in Romans chapter 8 verse 11. If the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also what? Quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwell in you. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Do you believe it? In the second service, the Holy Ghost quickened me to demonstrate something and I gave a dead notebook to our pastor as a lay to anybody. A lady, they took a testimony. A lady, who they said, spine was degenerated. He got healed. He took the dead to demonstrate that when he breathed upon, I said, take the notebook, touch anybody. 
and he took the notebook and touched somebody and the person got healed on the spot. Listen carefully. I don't care what has packed up in your body. By the power of the Holy Spirit, under this resurrection anointing, I decree life back in that area. Yeah. Say with me, by the power of his resurrection, of his resurrection. life surges into my body right now. right now. If you believe it, your amen will confirm it. Yeah. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 45, he said, as it is written, the first Adam was made a living soul, the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 14. Look at what the Bible said, the spirit of a man will sustain his worth. So that the spirit of God, by resurrection, will sustain you. Say so here, because I live, you shall live also. John 14, 19. Do you believe? Say resurrection has power. To put my body back together. Say it one more time. Say it one more time. How many believe Jesus is not in the grave? He cannot be in the grave. Oh, do you believe it? Do you believe it? Now, when he rose, he rose with you and I. Do you believe? Say, Jesus rose with me. I came out of the grave with him. Satan. You couldn't hold him captive. You can't hold me down. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Sing that song and then let's rise. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. I can face tomorrow. Because he from dead is your Lord and Savior. He did not come out of the grave because of himself. He came out because of you and I. And if you believe he's not in the grave, then you can't be in the grave. Everyone held down in any grave, you are out right now. 
Everyone given up to die, I command the resurrection power to bring you back to life. So with me, Jesus, Jesus. You are not in the grave. You came out because of me. I decree. By the power of resurrection. Nothing keeps me in any grave. I am out. Of every grave. Of life. Right now. Now begin to declare them. The ones you are out. I am out of the grave of failure. I am out of the grave of badness. I am out of the grave of shame. Life has been given to my body. Life has been given to my soul. Open your mouth and declare over your life. I am out of every grave in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and speak with authority. Lord in Jesus mighty name I'm going to demonstrate a picture the Holy Ghost is showing me please follow me if you can see this picture it will happen really in your life now listen I want you to carry very rough objects like some five people carry objects objects that are very rough maybe anything that's not bible objects come 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 Sabi, Pastor, you stand here if you get this picture that God is showing me that's how deliverance will take place get any object stand face me face me with any object don't carry bible bible is not an object carry things Come, come, come closer. Object, even if it's knife in your hand, bring it. No, I want to demonstrate something. This is what carry any rough object, any rough thing you have, anything that is rough that can injure somebody, bring it. This is what Jesus did. All that Satan has, you want to hit this man. This man was the subject before Jesus came by resurrection. Are you guys now? You want to hit him, stand here. These are the clubs you have. Jesus, you came, Satan came with all the demons, came in hell. To torment this man. Just assume you want to hit him. Are you going to say now? This was just this where he was. Are you going to say now? He was with you and you are returned to him. Then Jesus came. He held him like this. When he rose, he held you and I. He took us this way and brought you down to this point. Can those objects reach him here? You have been lifted up from the kingdom of darkness and translated to the kingdom of his dear son whatever the enemy plan will never come near you every plan of the devil whatever is happening on the earth you will never be a victim of it in the name of Jesus he raised you up and brought you to heavenly places far above principalities and powers I decree from this day all the forces in hell will never have access to your life Everything that is tormenting the world, you have been lifted out of it in the name of Jesus. I declare you will never be a victim of whatever is happening in the world. If you believe Jesus lifted you, say amen like a believer. Whatever is happening to the world will never happen to you. For everyone that sees this picture, the Holy Ghost showed to me, you are free from it. Can that is stretch your hand? Can you, can you reach him? Can this reach him? That's how from today you are far from every evil. You are far from every devil. You are far from sickness. You are far from failure. Whatever hell and Satan has to offer will never come near you. Shout a believing amen. Shout a loud amen. Shout a believer's amen. Now you'll be shocked. I demonstrate power of revelation with deep revelation. With deep what? This is what Jesus stood. He came to raise this man up. He's with me. I'm not Jesus, but I'm going to represent what the Holy Ghost showed to me. Now listen, these are objects. You see, this real. Real. I'm not going to preach theory. Power. Hold those materials. Hold them. He came to raise up. Try to try to do as if he wanted to stone me. See what will happen. Try to, try to stone me. They couldn't stone me. Jesus came to defend you. He came to what? Defend you. 
That's how he stood to raise you up. Today, whatever wants to touch you will be far from you. Every evil the enemy wants to throw at you will drop off. I just like you saw that picture, they could not stone me. I decree every devil planning to attack you goes down. Begin to declare it in your life now. No devil touches me. Go ahead. By power of resurrection. Speak to God in the name of Jesus. You will never be a victim of evil. Resurrection has lifted you up. Far above people, open your mouth and begin to pray. All the devils in hell can't touch you. Jesus has raised me up. Every sickness can't touch me. Open your mouth and say it. Evil will never touch me. Badness will touch me. Poverty will not touch me. Everything devil in the house can never touch me. But I said, I'm out. Are you praying for yourself? Are you declaring for yourself? Restoration has delivered me from every oppression. In Jesus' mighty name. Is that, that picture you saw become a reality in your life. Amen. Why I say you say it's what you say poverty can have access to me. Everything Satan wants to throw at you will never have access to you. Amen. It is done. Amen. Everybody is delivered by restoration. Now, wherever you are, pray this prayer after me. If you are not born again, the first access to the power of resurrection is new birth. Is what? As well as receive him, you born again. Open your mouth and pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose from there to save me. Thank you, Father, for saving me in Jesus' mighty name. If you offer that prayers, keep standing and while others take their seats. If today is your very first Sunday to be with us, kindly stand. We want to welcome you. God bless you. It's your first Sunday. God bless you. You're welcome to Salvation Ministries, the home of success. Everyone standing, we want to say to you, those who brought you, God bless them. And those of you standing, God change your story. In Jesus' name. Please, when we take the offering, you will just wait for two minutes to minister, and then we'll come back to close. Give thanks to God for his word. Hallelujah. In God's kingdom, every access has a process. You can never access any harvest without the process of seed time. The seed time process must precede the access. If you want God to turn your life financially, remember that it was made poor that we through his poverty might become rich. But that does not work by confession. It works by action. It's time for us to plant our seeds. It's offering time. Package your tithes, your profit offering, your offerings, kingdom investment, vows and pledges. If that is done, those who are also worshipping online, follow suit, do the same. Instruction is on the screen. If that is done, leave those offerings above your head and begin to talk to God with those seeds. Lord, we have come to appreciate you for your good work in our lives. Thank you because we have access to your blessings now. And thank you because we will experience an overflow in Jesus' precious name. Cast your offering. Just take me one side and then the, during the break, you take your song, please. You may be seated. Just put this uh, studio, put it one side, the, uh, the information. And then during the break, you take your good news. We have a new book, Walking in the Supernatural. Walking in the world? Just what I demonstrated the supernatural. How do you walk in it? W-A-L-K. This book is a world-class book. Get a copy of it. Everybody's already dedicated. Without the supernatural, your Christianity will be useless. Get a copy of it. And there will be thanksgiving in the fourth service for those born in March, married in March, and give their lives in March. 
We offer Tuesdays for home fellowship. Make sure you're part of it at 6 p.m. Thursday will be the first midweek service in the month of April. The theme for April is wisdom for greater exploits. <laughs> and Thursday is excelling without limits. Excelling without limits. Saturday we are going for evangelism for the Wigglesworth Empowerment. And the mid team is wisdom for greater exploits. On Saturday, all of us at 8 a.m. will come out with our cars. And go out and go with the water. Just the way you came out, everybody come out and God bless you. Sunday is praise for greater exploits. Praise for greater exploits. Then the Wigglers Bay Empowerment will start on the 9th. This church will be 27 years on April 13th. We are going, that week will be loaded. We'll tell you the events Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Then we'll tell you what we'll do on Friday, which is not on the handbill. And then Saturday, we'll come for the anniversary proper. I you guys now all this will tell you, we'll tell you, and then we we'll just thank God, we'll give you the information within the week. As God bless any one of us. How many know that the things happening in the world can happen to you? Rise to your faith. Please, give them a copy of the book. Show them a copy. The new book is available. Don't say, what is it? If you stand as I stood, they throw you. you, go reach you. If you. If you don't know what I know, if you don't know what I... If you say they should stone you that thing and you stand where I stand, they will, the team may be enjoy you. You must know what I know. So find that from this book. What is it you need to know? The power of his what? Resurrection. They won't touch you. Nobody will stone you in the name of Jesus. I, I decree no stone of the enemy will touch you. I repeat, no stone by resurrection power. No stone of the devil will touch you. Stone does not mean which is poverty is a stone from the devil. What is a stone from the, the pardon is a stone from every stone of the devil lives your life forever. Yeah. Lift your hands to heaven. If you believe now in the name of Jesus, go with residual power and enjoy the benefits of redemption. Yeah. As you're celebrating this Easter, may your life become a life of celebration. Yeah. This week that you're ending the month of March, I decree enter to April with testimonies. Yeah. Peace. In Jesus' name. And remember to praise God tonight for tomorrow morning. The grace together with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet flow of the Holy Spirit. Rest now by with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. Look at someone and say, Happy Easter.
Hallelujah. Someone said to be empowered, give the Lord a shout of praise. We know you are blessed with testimonies. For those at the global headquarters, go through the success entrance. Pastors and officials are there to document your testimonies. You are online. Please follow instructions on your screen. The book of Job 36 verse 22 says, Behold, God exalted by his power, who teacheth like him. You appreciate God for his word and the power of his resurrection that will manifest in your favor. Give your voice and appreciate him. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we give you glory and praise for the power of your resurrection that will answer in our lives today as you give us understanding of your word. We give you glory and praise for the turnaround, the testimonies, and the manifestation of our expectations. We give you glory and praise in Jesus' mighty name. I appreciate the Lord, his worthy. Lift up your voices and exalt is worthy. Worship him. Now unto the Lamb upon the throne we raise a song we raise a song for Oh, my. 
thank you we give you all the glory in jesus most wonderful name with a bigger clap to jesus you may please sit there in god's presence papa said in his book the power of his resurrection he said what makes christianity different powerful and superior to other organizations of the world is rooted in the resurrection of our lord jesus christ it's testimony time put your hands together for jesus as we invite ben labor c aaron charles eastern nathaniel pious victoria favor Oyenchi, tammy lawrence and abang tessie for their testimonies while they come please pay careful attention to the full information a very warm welcome to Easter service. Good news. In preparation for April Week of Spiritual Empowerment 2024 with the theme, Wisdom for Greater Exploits, there will be Global Mass Evangelism on Saturday, 6th April 2024 at the Global Headquarters and all her branches. Prayers will be transmitted at 8 a.m. Please come with your cars. That prescription for sound Christian life is the Word of God. Salvation Word of Life Bible Institute presents High International Basic Certificate course for the month of April 2024. Basic Certificate course will be both live and online for countries with GMT plus one or minus one time zones to participate. Nigeria inclusive. Pastors hosting Bible school should please announce at their branches. School begins on Monday 8th and ends Friday 19th of April 2024. Please note, school fees scholarship is available for students who cannot afford it. For registration, visit worldby.smhos.org or call any of the numbers as displayed. Visit the Knowledge Center or e-store at smhoistore.com immediately after the fourth service to obtain today's message and all the messages in hard copy and flash drive. Or subscribe to our money collections on MP3 and DVD. Amongst the materials are message, Commanding Abundance in Scarcity, March 2024, Week of Spiritual Empowerment, Glory Rain 2024, MP3 and DVD. Books, Manifesting God's Glory, Holy Spirit Consciousness, Wonders of His Grace, Knowing the Person of the Holy Spirit, The Helper of the Helpless, Walking in the anointing and Holy Spirit my helper. In a character retarding world, Wisdom Bank provides resource materials designed to facilitate learning, mold and shape your children's character to reflect Christ. Visit the Wisdom Bank to acquire the materials that will distinguish your children or call the number as displayed. To commit to kingdom advancement and expansion, please refer to the detailed information on your screen. Also for profit offerings, send your seed to the account as displayed. Those desiring to build worship centers in any of the categories displayed on the screen, please call the Global Missions Office on any of the numbers as displayed. As part of our Children's Day Celebration 2024, the Children's Ministry announces Leading Lights essay competition for children between ages 5 to 11. This is to inspire and harness the creativity of our children. Parents and guardians are to visit smhos.org slash leading lights to register their children or pick the forms at their various branches. Registration ends on Sunday, 7th April 2024. For further inquiry, call any of the numbers as displayed. Oakma International Academy Infant Junior and College announces admission into pre-kindergarten primary 1 to 5 and year 7 GSS 1 for 2024-2025 academic session. Applicants are to fill and submit an online application form at oakma.org.ng. Note, applicants for the college must be 10 years by September 2024. For entrance, examination, dates, venues and all the details, please visit oakma.org.ng or call any of the numbers as displayed. In the fourth service today, there are a thanksgiving prayer for those who are born, those who got married, and those who gave their lives to Christ in March. Note, please come with your friends and well-wishers for the thanksgiving, and thereafter, do your reception. There will be service group prayers on Friday, 5th of April, 2024, for sanctuary units at the Kingdom Arena for those at the Global Headquarters at 5 p.m. All concerned should fast before coming. Water baptism hosts immediately after this service, while live foundation class for new converts and believers hosts tomorrow Monday by 5 p.m. and on Saturday by 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. respectively at the Global Headquarters and all hard branches globally. The class is designed to give you stability in your Christian adventure. Please come with your writing materials. To receive daily prayers, prophecies, and wisdom quotes for living, like, share, and follow David Ibiomi on Facebook, at David Ibiomi on Instagram, at David underscore Ibiomi, X at David Ibiomi. Enjoy yourself in God's presence. God bless you. Your name and testimony.
My name is Favor Nete. I'm here to testify on academic excellence. Papa said that all the students on this commission will stand out. I got a scholarship and grade A in my results, and I'm also 12 years today. Thank you. She made the overall best. She got a grade A. She's here to give God all the glory, your name and testimony. Hallelujah. My name is Pius Victoria, and my testimony is on God's faithfulness on behalf of my dad. In 2009, he got poisoned at his place of work, but God sustained him. That same year, he got shot three times while coming back from work, but God has preserved him. Out of ten siblings, five died, none got to 60. On Tuesday, he clocked 60. I'm here to return all the glory to God. Your name and testimony. Praise God. My name is Ben Lebo Semenebu. I have come to return the glory to the great God of this commission for his goodness and his mercy towards my life and my family and the fulfillment of God's prophecy from the mouth of his servant, my father, David Tibiumi. Papa always declared that until heaven has blessed me, I will, heaven will not rest. And of a true God has turned our stories. On the seventh of this month, my children turned five years. On the nine, I turned 50 years to God to be the glory. Your name and testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Abang Tessi. My testimony is on answers to prayers. I wrote on my expectation form asking God to give me a new job. He answered and he gave me a better one. Secondly, I wrote on my expectation form asking for financial favor. I sold my February salary as my glory reign seat. Then God answered. He favored me with the same amount I asked to complete my father's project, the building project that I started. And on the 27th of this month was my birthday. I'm 31. Glory be to God. Your name and testimony. Praise the Lord, church. My name is Tammy Lawrence. Prior to this time, I've been sincerely ill. On Saturday, after I obeyed the divine instruction by Papa that we should go for evangelism, after the evangelism, I got my healing. I've come to come. I've come to, to give all the glory to God. And secondly... Um, on the 27th of March, I clocked plus one, 23 years. I've come to give God all the glory. Your name and testimony. Praise the Lord, Church. My name is Eastern Attorney. My testimony is on God's faithfulness. Since I joined this commission, I've not been sick for five, over five years now. And after today is my bed, I'm 27 years. See, ever since I joined the commission, I have not been sick and is here to give God all the glory. Your name and testimony. Good day, church. My name is Aaron Charles Chinejirum, and my, my testimony today is on answers to prayers. My testimony, I'm thanking God today because um, half of the things I wrote in my 2024 expression form has been answered, and top of them being that I desire to be the, department, the president of my department in Uniport, and on the 19th of this month, um, the election held, and I emerged victorious, and on the 27th of this month, we are inaugurated as the new escorts of my department. I'm here to give God all the glory. God is faithful as a doer. Shall we please stand to our feet and give him all the glory? Faithful Father, we thank you for all these testimonies. We return all the glory back to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You may please be seated. It's offering time. In John chapter 3, verse 14 to 16, the Bible says, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so shall the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. And he resurrected. And in verse 16, he said, For God so loved the world, he gave. So package a quality offering. It's time to give, to express our love for God, for giving us Jesus. Package that offering. Remember your tithes. Remember your prophet offerings, cathedral and church planting seeds. And all other kingdom investments. If you have done that, lift them above your heads and begin to speak to that seed. Faithful Father, we thank you in reciprocation for your love. We have come to show you love in appreciation for the gift of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, you may cast your seeds.
Praise the Lord. In Salvation World of Life Bible Institute, we honor those 60 and above that attend Bible school and our foreign students. Let's welcome our Father to present gift to the following people. Green, Joshua, Tamibas, Ekatubo, Michael, Obo, Helen, Ajay, Chukwode, and for our foreign students, we have Davis, Jeremy, and Ambre, Thousand, all from the United States of America. Praise the Lord. Please, let's welcome our leading lights for their special presentation. God bless you. Happy Easter, everyone. We, the Leading Lights, we love to appreciate Papa for giving us the opportunity to, to, for giving us the opportunity to minister in this exalted altar. Lament, lamentation of Barnabas, who agitates others, who causes problems, do you wish him out of existence, killed for his crimes? When you look at him, this chicken who murdered his own brother, this chicken went off too easily, exceeding instead of death for having his own noble brother's blood in his hands, crying out for the very soul. He has killed people, he has taken a life, maybe more than one. He has agitated others into mayhem and chaos, yet the crowd asks for his release. What shall he do with Jesus? Pilate asks, God asks the same of him today. Do you ignore him? Do you consider him a liar or a lunatic or a legend? Do you refuse to have anything to do with him? Or do you accept the substitution in your place? I had nothing to do with him right up until the time he died in my place. I was so wrong, are you? One minute, I was ready to start out everyone to save him. The next, I was denying I even knew him. I disowned the son of God. My friend, my rabbi, not once, not twice, but three times I did not know him. It seems the best thing to do, but I was not called to be saved. I was called to speak out for those who want to save their life, who lose it. But for those who want to lose their life for Jesus, who save it. I knew this, but that's not what I said. I don't know or understand what you're talking about, I claim. I don't know this man you're talking about. Just as I was talking, the rooster crowed. The Lord looked straight at me. I went outside and wept bitterly. I was so wrong. Are you? While my husband Pilate was sitting on the judge's seat, I sent him this message. Don't have anything to do with this innocent man, for I have suffered today in a dream because of him. I was telling him about Jesus, not to have anything to do with him, to ignore him, to walk away. I should have said we should pay a greater attention to Jesus. How shall we escape if we ignore so a great salvation? Instead, I concealed the one man who could have saved him not to have anything to do with him. It seemed the safest thing to do. I was so wrong. Are you? Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. He has been a Roman legend for nearly 10 years. And in all that time, he knew what he was doing. He might not know why, but the orders were loud and clear. He crucified scores of enemies of the Roman Empire, but never before had any one of them said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Most of them screamed in pain when he drove the Bikes through their hands and feet. They tried fortily until the end. They were all nailed to their crosses, struggling to breathe, dripping out their life a drop of blood at a time. Some begged for mercy. Many of them cursed us, but many of them cursed him, but never before had he forgiven them. Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. 
He doesn't know why those nine words haunt him so, why he can't banish them from his mind. He can still see his eyes locked onto them when he said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they do. I witnessed it in pro trial today, not in Rome but in Jerusalem. Pilate was asked to condemn a Jewish carpenter to death for offending the Jewish leaders. The soldiers led Jesus away to their headquarters and called the whole company together. They dressed him in a purple robe and twisted together a crown of thorns and placed it on him, before leading him out to Golgotha, the place of the skull, where he was crucified between two thieves. Upon arrival, they offered him wine, but he refused it, a great deal of people in attendance. At his death, no comment appeared, only darkness, as if God could not bear to watch. The earth shuddered and quaked. A second sign, powerful signs sunk only the crucifixion coronation. But maybe it's the differences that matter the most. Instead of a bull being sacrificed, Jesus sacrificed himself for us. Instead of calling 12 legions of angels to liberate his enemies, this king asked his father to forgive them. Instead of an earthly king that made precise and we out of this world, one that will have no end. Your throne, God, is forever and ever, and your scepter is the scepter of justice. You have brought us out from the dominion of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of the Son you love. May you reign in my heart and life forever and ever. Amen.
worship you, we give you back the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Please be seated. This section will be going to God in prayers. In Psalm 118 verse 23. He said, this is the Lord's doing, it is marvelous in our eyes. I appreciate God for glorifying himself in all our services today, for strengthening David Ibumi, and for touching the lives and families of all worshippers in salvation ministries. Stand to your faith, lift your voice, and magnify the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we are here to say thank you. He said, this is the Lord's doing, it is marvelous in our eyes. The Lord has done great things for us today, we are off, we are glad. Lord, we appreciate you for glorifying yourself in all our services today, we say thank you. For strengthening David Ibumi, and for touching the lives and families of all worshippers salvation ministries lord this day we say thank you in jesus mighty name psalm, 1, psalm 11 verse 9 they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountains with only anger you clear satan and his agents from launching any attack against salvation ministries globally before during and after our 27th anniversary celebration decree all around calmness and continuous advancement for her lift your voice pray in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, it's a violence, shall not be had in the land, with the destruction, within the borders of the church of God, salvation ministries, for they shall not, not destroy, in all my holy mountains, Satan the devil, we are given a place, we come against this hour, you and your agents, every attempt of yours, to attack the church, salvation ministries, before, during, or after, after this Seven adversaries of mission with anything God level will come against you this hour by the blood of Jesus Christ. Every of your works, every of your devices, you are put in place to cause pain, to cause sorrow, to cause crisis, to cause the medicine. The blood of Jesus against you. In Jesus' mighty name, Revelation 12 and 11, and overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Use the blood of Jesus Christ against Satan and its agents from corrupting the peace and comfort of David Ibume and his journey of us this celebration season and beyond. They create peace and protection for them. Lift your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, it said, I'll forgive the devil by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of Jesus Christ, we cleanse it afar, every attempt of taking to attack the peace, to attack the comforts of David Ibiome, in genuine love for us, the season of celebration and beyond, we come against this hour by the blood of Jesus Christ, for no weapon from the kingdom shall prosper every weapon to get dead against the life against the family against the military of every the blood of jesus against you Isaiah 30 and verse 21 and the ear shall hear what behind you saying this is the way walk here in it where you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left pray against error and insensitivity in the lives and affairs of general worshippers and salvation ministries this season and beyond. Ask the Holy Spirit to guide us and deliver us from all forms of evil. Lift your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, it says, yeah, by now the spirit of truth and the spirit of error will pray against error and insensitivity in the lives and affairs of genuine worshippers and salvation ministries that set up beyond the blood of Jesus against all forms of error, the blood of Jesus against all forms of insensitivity in our lives. We cast it out. In Jesus' mighty name. Finally, First Corinthians 15 and verse 57. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Pray that by the power of his resurrection, salvation ministries globally, David and his family, and all generous fans will enjoy continuous increase and victory all through this season and beyond. Lift your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, it said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. We pray that by the power of his resurrection, salvation ministries globally, David Ibiome, his family, all genuine worshippers of God in salvation ministries will enjoy continuous increase, will enjoy continuous victory on every side. In the name of Jesus. Once more, we share God is faithful. Father, we give you by the glory. Blessed be your name forever in Jesus' name. Please be seated as we call on the officials to please read the online testimonies across the globe. Salvation Ministries Church, Okota, Lagos, Lagos State, Nigeria.
from Chimenem Elichi Amadi. I started a building project in 2010. It was to be the first in my village at the time. After some battle in the beginning, everything seemed to be going well. I left for my master's degree program in the United Kingdom that same year, hoping to see the project completed on my return. I came back to meet an abandoned project far beyond the stage I had expected and funded. Then came a flood of evil financial and material losses. That is my land, car, etc. To the point I was almost frustrated, but God was there for me. The project came, became an object of mockery. This was a state before I joined Salvation Ministries. And since then, it's been testimonies upon testimonies. I wrote in my expectation form that God should turn things around for me and my family and my younger sister should get married. I asked God to shut the mouth of mockers and give us joy. God did it. He answered the request and even more, he provided the resources. The house was completed within a month, more beautifully after 14 years. On the 8th of February 2024, my beautiful little sister got married into a wonderful family. My business has turned around for good and so that... The so as the fortunes of my entire house. My wife and kids are doing great and opportunities for advancements are increasing daily in my business. On the 26th of March, 2024, I turned 50. Thank you, Jesus. Salvation from testimony from Mike Ekong, Nottingham, United Kingdom. As I arrived UK the following my trip to Nigeria, I was greeted by a seemingly endless queue leading to the immigration checkpoint. As I approached the line, I offered a prayer to God, asking for the grace upon his servant to answer to me and cause protocols to be broken for my sake. As I joined the queue, I noticed a lady walking towards me. Upon reaching where I stood, she proceeded to open the barricade in front of me and asked me to move over the next line, which was reserved for citizens. I proceeded with the immigration process and finished in less than a minute, leaving my other family members who had British passports amazed by my sweet clearance. Thank you, Lord. Salvation Ministries Church, number 47, Iqba Road, Uyo, Akwaibom State, Nigeria. From Okbona Abasi, Alfred. In October 2023, my sister fell ill with a strange ailment which defiled medications and she was losing weight daily. That is an indication or a sign of a chronic illness. During the glory reign 2024, I was actively involved in soul winning and serving God faithfully and kept on presenting my sister's case to him. To the glory of God, my sister got her healing. She is back on her foot and doing very well. This can only be God. Thank you, Jesus. Salvation Ministries Church, Iagwa, along Omoko Court Road, over Imo State, Nigeria, from Jane Klopas. I was trusting and believing God to bless my dad so he could pay for my rent in school. I sold what I had, and to the glory of God, my dad was able to raise the money for my rent. Secondly, God gave me a good place for my industrial training attachment. Also, I want to thank God for intervening in a land dispute between my dad and his siblings. I prayed and called on the God of this commission to bring peace, and everything was settled peacefully. I return all the glory to God. God is well the great testimony. Please rise to your feet and return the glory to him. Are we one more time? Give thanks to God. Let's go ahead and thank Him. Celebrate His faithfulness in our lives. Making you to see this Easter Sunday. Go ahead and tell God thank you. Blessed be His name forever. In Jesus' mighty name. He said that I may know Him and the power of His resurrection. Philippians chapter 3 verse 10. Paul was speaking, I may know him. He was already an apostle. But he wanted depth of insight. Greater than whatever he has heard. And the power of his resurrection. And the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. Lord, I want to know you deeper than. Don't think what you know is enough. Everybody writes an exam, but don't get the same marks. Because the depth is different. If you look at Ezekiel, Jesus, God speaking, said one to the ankle, to the knee, to the body, to the loins, and to overflow. So some of you, the depth of insight you have now is just the ankle. Are you guys that's 30%. Some, 
to this point, which is about 60%, then to 100%, then manifold. Are you going to answer now? So the level you have now, I don't think it's enough. 40% it does not mean that you, as a, you go to the next class, but you will not make a first class. They all call them class, class. Next class, but not first class. You, I, God, I want depth of insight. Depth of what? Yes. To understand the power of resurrection. Lord, reveal it to me at a higher dimension. Whatever I've known before, I want to know deeper. Pray that prayer for yourself in the name of Jesus. I desire to know. Have better understanding of the power of resurrection. Go ahead and talk to God in the name of Jesus. Speak to him. Lero brezi salo bakate kodi ali jinta lo bredi asi salo kata bragadia. I desire to have better understanding of the power of resurrection. Thank you, Lord. And Jesus, mind that your eyes will be open to have an encounter with the power of resurrection. In the name of Jesus, Lord, speak to us in this last service for today. Let each one have an encounter with your word. In Jesus' name, give me a big hand. You may be seated. Everyone that went out in obedience to God's word yesterday, I decree you specially blessed. Amen. Rewarded. Amen. Amongst your pairs, may God make you to stand out. Amen. Every you that obeyed, I declare so much blessings upon your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Understanding the power of his resolution. We're looking at the purpose of resolution. Purpose of what? Resolution. The only answer to fatigue is rest. Is what? Rest. Any other thing will not work. If you drink coffee, you punish yourself. You take uh, energy drink, you destroy part of your body. Go and rest. Now, we live in a wicked world where wickedness is everywhere. He said, the whole world, not the whole country, the whole world lieth in wickedness. 1 John 5, 19. And in the book of Psalms 24, verse 20, it said, give respect unto thy covenant. The habitation of the earth are full of the habitations of cruelty. There's wickedness globally. So for someone to live in this wicked world, you must be empowered. You must be what? If you are not empowered, you'll be subdued. Empowerment is not an option. Every child of God, that's a person that I may know him and the power of his worth. He knew that he was going to meet wickedness, so he wanted to be empowered to display so that wickedness will not have effect on him. So you and I are redeemed to manifest the power of resurrection. It says, for the NSS spiritual creation waited for the manifestation. Romans 8 verse 19. It said, the world is waiting for our manifestation. They are not waiting for our explanation. You keep explaining, no, it's a manifest. That means display power. Display what? It said, the whole world, grown in darkness, they are waiting for our manifestation. They are not waiting for our explanation. Stop explaining issues. God said, now manifest the power of God. Shout hallelujah. Yeah. That's the essence of resurrection. And in the third service, we looked at how do we encounter the power of his resurrection. I said number one, through revelation. I shared that in third service. I said number two, through, through the blood of Jesus Christ. And then I went further to say what are the virtues and the power of his resurrection. Now we looked at the virtues and the power of his resurrection. What are the virtues? A, I taught that already. I said, A, for the restoration of our dominion. The virtues that through the resurrection we are restored back to what? Dominion. Number two, which is B, we have access to the deep things of God. This is all I've, I've taught. C, we have access to peace. D, access to strength, health, vitality, and longevity. 
I think I stopped in D. Praise the Lord. Now, E, which is this service, what is the next virtue? It empowers our access to vision. It empowers our access to vision. The power of his resurrection grants us access to divine vision, plan, and purpose for our lives. A man called Peter almost went out of God's purpose for his life in John chapter 21, 15 to 17. Jesus said to him, son, lovest thou me? Say yes. Peter was called to be a fisher of men. All of a sudden, he went back to real fishing. Do you understand the difference? He was called to be an apostle, but he went back to fishing, normal fishing. And Jesus said, Peter, 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 after he rose, go back to what I called you. I pray by the power of relation, somebody on the wrong track will go back to where you belong. Yeah. Most times we do things that are convenient, not because God wants us to do them. That's not God's plan for you. Not every open door is God's door. So resurrection has power to put you back on track. Is that true? Are you getting me? Check yourself. Sometimes you're doing something you are not called to do. Because somebody is doing it, you begin to do it. But when the resurrection begins to work in your life, you walk in the plans of God. In Joel chapter 2, 1 to 11, you see it very clear. May God's purpose for your life not be missing. Amen. That amen is for you. Amen. Peter was almost missing God's purpose. If Jesus never retired him, Peter would have gone to fishing. I have not seen somebody who is a pastor, all of a sudden said God called him to be a politician. God can never be author of confusion. Every man called of God can never be in politics. I don't mean part-time pastors, full-time. It's impossible. Never, never. The man somehow went back like Peter. Maybe before you became born again, you wanted to be a governor. You love politics. Then when God called you in between when ministry was not working well, you say, let me try. Peter was not, Peter was afraid. He said, let me go back to the thing I like, fishing. And then Jesus said, come back, come back, come back, come back. May God redirect you. Amen. Are you hearing me? I don't mean a Christian cannot go to politics, but a full-time pastor cannot be in politics. Hey, never. Never. The two can't go together. All the full-time pastors in churches that went to politics, they all lied. Politics is, is another for lies. You don't need to learn it. It will be part of you. You must lie. All over the world. If you don't lie, can't win the election. There's no truth inside. You must lie. Because part of it, somehow you will lie. Somehow. Okay, I will listen. I will give everybody, everyone will provide job for everybody. Is it possible? Are you God? But they say it. It will provide job for every youth. Is it possible? No, but you have to say it. If you don't say it, they won't vote you. You can even say, now we'll put AC in the atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> As people say, yes, he said, we'll give us AC, air conditioning. How can you put air conditioning in the atmosphere? Is it going to be God? It's only God that can bring rain showers at the same time. No more time I can bring it. But people say, yeah. And when you go there, you have to lie. So, a resolution puts us what? On track. We have access to vision. Some of you, you know that you are just doing tumbo tumbo boss, calabatiti and ababos. You are not, you are not in God's mind. You want to know what tumbo tumbo boss, calabatiti and ababos is? You are just doing guesswork. You are just doing. Today you are in trading. The next day, I have a relation of mine. She has done businesses that I asked her one day. Say, my sister, which one is the real business we are called to do? Today she will call me. She wants to go to market. The next day she says she wants to buy fridge. The next day she says she wants to. <laughs> Uh, she's, maybe she's in church laughing. She has done over 20 businesses. <laughs> Since I know her, I will keep, even tonight she still has new business to do. Every, every time she has a new business, I say, my sister, you've not started to tell God what you want to do. She said, I don't tell, I want to say cloth. The next day she <laughs> What are you called to do? I command your eyes to be open. Yeah. I command your eyes to be open. If you believe it, say amen to that. Amen. Number six, which is F. F. Resurrection power supernaturally changes our position. Resurrection power supernaturally changes our worth. That is the sixth virtue, which is F. In Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 6, in the third service, I physically demonstrated something that God showed to me. 
He said, he and had raised us up together and made us sit together where? In heaven, when you are after resurrection, Jesus lifted you and moved you from where you were to where he is. So you are shifted from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his dear son. Colossians 1.13. God moved you out and changed your position. Is that clear? In Luke 24, 5 and 6. Look at what the Bible declares here. And it came to pass, sorry, and as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, he is risen. So resurrection has the power to change your position. So me from today, by the power of his resurrection, my position will change. It will change from, you call it by name, from sickness to health, from failure to success, from badness. If you don't declare it, you will not see it. Open your mouth and say it in the name of Jesus. My position will change from disappointment to success. Go ahead and begin to talk. From delay to progress. Are you speaking to God? Mary Brady, open your mouth and speak. Thank you, Lord. In the precious name of Jesus. G, resurrection is the demonstration of the exceeding greatness of God's power. Resurrection is the demonstration and the exceeding greatness of God's power. As 433. The Bible said, and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and great grace upon them all. Resurrection is the demonstration of the exceeding greatness of God's power. If you look at Ephesians chapter 1, 19 to 20, you see it also, it said, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us, what we believe, according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ, when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in heavenly places. Their power is on display. Power is on what? Oh my God. Well, I'm going to go into ministration. But you write it. Resurrection power translates us from, I'll begin to take the one after the other. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Expect miracles to happen. Amen. How many want to be translated? From filthiness to holiness, captivity to liberty, sickness to health, defeat to triumph, struggles to breakthrough, shame to glory, death to life. I'm going to take some of them one after the other. You may want things to happen by resurrection. Glory to God. So be resurrection. resurrection. Power. Power. Translates. Translates. Me. me. You have put us anywhere you want to write, but put, you can put me, personalize it from Roman figure one. From filthiness to holiness. I want the key to be touched. From filthiness to holiness. From what? Without resurrection, you cannot live a holy life. If Jesus never rose, Nobody would have, but now sin has no dominion over us. In Romans chapter 1, verse 4, the Bible said, And declared to be the Son of God with power, according to the spirit of what? Holiness by the resurrection from the dead. So there is a spirit of holiness by the resurrection of the dead that makes you overcome sin. Is that clear? When that power is at work in you, you just overcome sin. Romans chapter 6, 4 and, 10, 4 and 14. It said, Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism unto death, that like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in the newness of life. For sin shall not have what? Dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. So from today, every dominion of sin is destroyed. Amen. It says sin, so whatever sin anyone commit, you choose to commit it. But for sin, it has no what? Dominion over us. So sin can be overcome by the power of his resurrection. And sin can stop. Even if you are in it, it can stop. Today, I command every habit that does not glorify God stop in our lives. Amen. Shout a better amen. amen. By the power of his resurrection, every filthiness will come to an end and will be moved into holiness. Amen. If you believe, say, by the power of his resurrection, Every filthiness, 
drop of my life. I work in the holiness of the power of his resurrection to please God in the name of Jesus. Roman figure 2, captivity to liberty. Captivity to what? Liberty. How many know that resurrection set you free from captivity to what? Liberty. Matthew 27, 50 to 53. The Bible declares when Jesus, when he had cried with a loud voice, he did of the ghost. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twin from the top to the bottom. And the air did quake and the rocks rent. And the graves were opened. These men were locked in the graves. <laughs> and many bodies of the saints who slept do arose. And came out of the graves after his resurrection. After what? So resurrection set Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel. They were held captive. And went to the holy city and appeared. If resurrection set them at liberty, you are not permitted to be held captive. Do you believe? How many believe the word of God? He said, the Lord is our spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Second Corinthians 3, verse 17. How many know captivity is ending right now? Oh, how many know captivity is ending right now? Yes, many times when we talk about deliverance, people think that deliverance is where someone comes to push you. What I'm doing now is deliverance. Is it what? He sent his word, and his word is sent what? Deliver them. As I'm speaking God's word, deliverance is taking place. Amen. He said, true knowledge shall the just be delivered. So when you begin to know, no devil can hold you down and say, I cannot be held down. <laughs> oh, my, 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 say it one more time. <laughs> Satan, you can't hold me down. <laughs> By the power of his resurrection, <laughs> I'm set at liberty. <laughs> Captivity is ending, my liberty is established. <laughs> Captivity is ending, my liberty is established. If those who died thousands of years were set at liberty, you are going to be free right now. Amen. How many know they'll be free? Just say it with your mouth. By the power of his resurrection, I'm set free. I'm set free. No more captivity. No more. Say it in faith. By the power of his resurrection, I'm set at liberty. No more captivity. Say it one more time and declare it. Say it one more time. Say it one more time. I command captivity to come to an end in your life. Listen. I hear God. Physically, if you look at me, you know that I should go and rest. But to let you know that I'm not the one doing the miracle, you'll be shocked. Just open your mouth and say, by the power of his resurrection, power of his resurrection. No, more no more captivity. My liberty is established. My liberty is established. Nothing, holds Nothing holds me down. I'm set free. Now, by your confession, it is done in the name of Jesus. Amen. When I'm physically like this, God takes over. I won't tell you when physically it's like that, I allow him to take over. And he's taken over. Somebody will have the greatest testimony today. Amen. Somebody will have the biggest testimony today. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Resurrection power translates you from sickness to health. From what? Number three. Sickness, Romans figure three. Romans eight verse eleven. I want this. I want. I want the worship to be deep. Every sick, you are walking out of sickness. Yes. Say, so be no sickness. No remains here. Yes. Say, touch your body and say, no sickness remains here. I'm walking out of every sickness into sound health by the power of his resurrection. Now look at Romans 8, 11. Let's read together. I want to go. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by a spirit that dwelleth in you. Quicken means to make alive. To what? 
I don't care which part of your organs are packed up before now. I command your health restored back. Yes. You will not carry that sickness beyond this moment in the name of Jesus. Yes. I decree this is the last time you carry that disease in your body. Yes. Shout a believing amen if you are the one. Yes. Shout a loud amen if you are the one. Yes. Yes. So me, I have the spirit of God in me. By the power of his resurrection, no disease, no sickness is permitted to be in my life. Shout a better amen. Say, so if the spirit of me that raised up Christ dwell in you. I shared this testimony. I had some challenges around my kidney. When I mean it was so painful, I didn't tell nobody. And I laid on the bed and began to roll my mind, I began to meditate on Romans 8, 11. As I was meditating, deep meditation, my kidney made kakakap. That was the end. I've done checkup before. No trace of anything in my kidneys. My kidneys are sound. If I've gone to hospital, there's no way they will not tell you, you have kidney stone, you have kidney this, you have kidney anything. But my kidneys are free. And very perfect. I don't say they are wrong, they are right in their own way, but I have better knowledge. I have what? Better knowledge. Do you believe the word of God? How many believe the word of God? Shall quicken your mortal bodies. I had a high problem long ago. I used poor light to read. All of a sudden, my eyes went blank. I could not look at the pages of the Bible. It was that bad. If I open the Bible, I won't see the letters. Then I began to meditate. As I was meditating, deep meditation. My eyes said, he said, one to the eyes never grew dim. That was the scripture I read. And all of a sudden, I said, if his eyes never grew dim, you know me, 38, 34, verse 7. I said, then I'm not even up to, as at that time, I was not even up to 34. I was around 30, 33, 34. I said, Lord, my eyes must open now. And then my eyes left. He is risen from the dead, he's Lord. I sing that song. Miracles will happen right now. He's the Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead. He's the Lord. Hallelujah. Every And he rose from dead. I decree that sickness to leave your body now. Amen. Nobody prayed for him. The same Holy Ghost that raised you from the dead is the same Holy Ghost in you. And that's where you shall quicken your mortal body. Every organ in you that packed up, including your kidneys, I command them to jack back to life. Amen. The Holy Ghost gave me illustration and I took a, an ordinary notebook and spoke on it. Based on the standard I gave to Pastor Manabas, 
I said, touch anybody you like. And I, somebody was sharing testimony of degenerated uh, spine that was made perfectly whole. Now, if it can transmit through notebook to touch a degenerated spine, now you, it's not notebook, it is you. Your body is the temple of God. So I decree in the name of Jesus, say with me, look at your hand and say, Holy Spirit, as I touch my body with his hands, flow through me, quicken my mother body. Every part I touched, let life flow there. Take that hand, touch any part of your body and speak to it in the name of Jesus. Speak to your body. If it's your back, you'll be shocked. If it's your spine, you'll be shocked. Open your mouth in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and talk to the body in the name of Jesus. My mind in the name of Jesus. Life here. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. You may be seated. The religion of power translates us from defeat to triumph. Defeat to what? The last defeat you suffered will be the last. Resurrection power translates us from defeat to what? Triumph. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 15, the Bible declares sorry, should be Colossians 2.15, not 1 Corinthians, Colossians 2.15. Having spoiled principalities and what? Powers, he made a show of them, triumphing over them in it. So, resurrection has power. Has what? Resurrection has power to make somebody who has been defeated to try off. The last defeat you suffered will be the last. Amen. You will never be defeated in the battles of life. Amen. Say no more defeat. No more defeat. By the power of his resurrection, I will never suffer defeat. He has made a show of them. I have the victory. Say with me, I have the victory. In Christ Jesus, right now. In Ephesians 1, 20, 21, the Bible declares, which he wrote in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him as own right hand in heavenly places, far above principality and power, and mind and doing and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. He has raised us up together and made us together in heavenly places. Is that true? From today, no more defeat. Amen. Say it one more time. Say like a child of God. Say like a child of God. I will not suffer any kind of defeat. By the power of his resurrection. Victory is my portion. Say it like a child of God. Shout a better amen. Shout a loud amen. amen. You know why you confess it? Don't think that your strength is enough. Will you hear me? I'll take a natural thing to talk spiritual thing. Yesterday, Chelsea played a match. I didn't want the match, but I have a channel where I can see goals. And Chelsea, in the natural, was bigger than the team. The team they play with Luton is at the bottom. And then they gave them red card. There were 10 players. So we expect Chelsea to win the, like 10 goals. But they played 2-2. Two, two, no, Bolling, I think. Bolling, not Bolling, yes. Not looting, bowling. Bowling, which was at the bottom of the table. With 10 players, they played 2-2. Two -two. So Chelsea could not win them by strength. In the natural, Chelsea should win the match. This team is at the bottom, bottom, bottom. And they get a red card in 20-something minutes or so, or then about. So they have so much time to win the people. Yeah, the people play draw with them. 
So don't think that when I say God will move you from defeat to victory, don't say, yes, me, I have strength. All this defeat, who will defeat me? In the natural, David could not have defeated the Goliath in the natural. But when the power of resurrection came, he defeated Goliath. So don't think, because you have connection. All this, when I say confess, confess so. They say, oh, they talk. me, I don't need confession. I go take so defeat with my money, what I get? Ta. Chelsea had money, more than any other team. They bought more players, but they've not been winning matches. <laughs> <laughs> they will lose it. They draw every match. Chelsea bought more, they spend more money in EPA than any team. But the eleventh position. By strength shall no man prevail. <laughs> I know most of you are Chelsea fans, yeah. But don't worry, they will come back. I am happy. It's, it's, so you are men in this church. He said, Papa, I take no football. After Bible, I like football. Don't tell me you read Bible every time. No. Everybody has what they like. Some people they like to talk about man. Some people they like to talk about woman. Some people they talk to talk about football. Some people they like to talk about sports. Me, I like to talk about football. Don't tell me every time a Bible, Bible, Bible is a lie. No, but even the, even if you be man of God, be man, you know, tell me every time a Bible. Not only Bible they read and a lie. Any man of God tell that I think they talk lie. After Bible, I like football. Like today now, after I finish now, I watch football. Arsenal, Man City. <laughs> You can't, nothing will make me not to watch them. Uh, I watch Arsenal and it's a tough match. Uh, it's between Oga and uh, student. <laughs> uh, Pep Cardola is the Oga, uh, Atete is student, but some of the students, they beat Oga to, or Oga go fit fight with student. If, if, if uh, Atete is able to add something to what he knows from Pep Cardola, then he can. Otherwise, the champion is always a champion. So don't say, you know, I can't be defeated. I can't be defeated. Calm down. No. Never see where them hit boxers. Bam. Boom. There was a Nigerian who became heavyweight boxing champion from Akwa Ibom. He went and took Chief Tassi title. <laughs> After he won the first belt, his first, his first defense, they beat him. <laughs> He's going to train. He was really taking title from Akanafo. So... He was the only Nigerian heavyweight champion who did not defend himself more than once. As they won, as he collected that big money, he went to Accra. <laughs> they were busy taking him around from village to village. Where the person was to fight, he was training. He was going from village to village, taking chief as a title. He went for the first fight. Nobody has had his name from that time to now. <laughs> so, but you will never suffer defeat. Yeah. Say by resolution, yeah. I will never suffer defeat. Yeah. The last defeat I suffered will be the last. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Number five, V, struggles to break through. Struggles to what? Breakthroughs. Struggles to breakthroughs. How many of you have struggled in life? It is ending today. Amen. I said it is ending today. Amen. I said it is ending today. Amen. And John chapter 1, 5 and 6. John chapter 21. John 21, 5 and 6. They struggle. The struggle. And Jesus said unto them, this after he resurrected, children, have ye any meat? And they answered him, what? No. They said, we don't have any meat. That means they have struggled. They have what? Some of you from January to now, you have been struggling. You put LPO here. You put paper here. You say, I prove. But it is ending today. Yeah. And he said unto them, he's saying to you too, because just kind of the same, is saying to you, after this moment, you will hear a specific instruction. He yeah. said, it was so specific. He said, cast the net on the right side of the ship. That it was so what? Specific in his instruction. Somebody will get a specific instruction in the name of Jesus. Yeah. If God tells you this is what to do, struggle has ended. Are you hearing me? I want your ears to be open. By the power of his resurrection, you will get a specific instruction in the name of Jesus. Amen. They were frustrated. They could not get breakthrough. They were so battered. They were shattered, confused. Nothing to, some of you is like that. Not that you are not working, but nothing to show for it. 
You are working hard, but the results don't match. Look, listen. Listen, if God does not instruct you, you can work hard and nothing will work. If hard work is just a loan, truck pushers will have been very rich. Bricklayers will have been very rich. It's not the muzzle. It's the direction. And he said unto them, cast the net on the right side of the ship, and you shall what? You shall find specific instruction. They cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw for the multitude of fishes. After this day, somebody will go from struggle to breakthroughs. Amen. You will move from struggles to breakthroughs. Amen. You will move from struggle to breakthroughs. Amen. You will stumble into undeniable breakthroughs. Amen. I'm speaking to someone in the name of Jesus. Amen. By the power of his you will hear specific, you will get special from the Lord Jesus. He will speak to you through the Holy Ghost and you will know what next to do. Amen. The days of struggle, they are over. Amen. Say by the power of his resurrection, I struggle no more. Struggle. Say it one more time. This shall be to me my season of breakthroughs. Come, say it with faith. This shall be to me my own season of breakthroughs. God will open doors for me. I will get specific instruction on what next to do. The louder your amen, you have it done. Amen. Number six, we are shame to glory. Shame to what? Glory. Have you seen shame before? It is ending now. Amen. Shame to what? Glory. Resurrection has power to terminate shame. First Corinthians 15, 42, 43. And the Bible declares... Uh, so also is the resurrection of the death. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. In Isaiah 61, 1 and 7. Talking about prophecy, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he had anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. To proclaim liberty to the captives and open up the prison to them that are bound. Look at verse 7. For your shame you shall have. Ah. By the power of resurrection, anywhere you have seen shame, God is going to change it to a testimony. I repeat, you used to beg to eat. Before this year is over, you give to others to eat from you. You better believe what I'm declaring. By the power of resurrection, somebody's shame has ended. Amen. I'm speaking the short word of prophecy. By the power of his resurrection, somebody's shame has ended. Amen. By the power of his resurrection, somebody's shame has ended. Amen. In place of shame, somebody will encounter glory. Amen. Even if it's 24 hours, God will intervene. Amen. Even if in this moment, God will intervene. You will not see shame. You will not see shame. You will not see shame. In the name of Jesus. God has spoken. It is done. None of us will see shame. Say, so I will not see shame. By the power of his resurrection. Every shame is turned to glory. Say it one more time. By the power of his resurrection. Every shame is turned to glory. You won't see shame. I don't know how. But God will do it. Don't ever limit God. Don't ever what? God is so humorous. On Thursday morning, early morning, early morning, I was at the airport and someone was trying to walk to get into the plane, the same plane. Just at the airport, I was standing. He said, ah, Papa, you're here at the airport in Lagos. I looked at the young man following me. He just said to them, you go, 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 go. I said, go. He put his hand and brought out a bundle. 
Is you know the bundle? You can't give me a bundle of Nara at this level. <laughs> Just brought a bundle of dollars. I squeeze into my hand. Don't feel good? <laughs> Have you ever given you money at your friend? <laughs> they give you good money at your friend? <laughs> Except you're a wicked person. You give money for... <laughs> Even if you are angry, you will laugh. Even if you are very bitter, when they give money, do that. <laughs> Even if you to pretend for 30 seconds, your teeth will show that you are burned. That's how you will laugh this week. <laughs> Have you ever seen where you want to do something and you are looking for money, your brain is calculating and then all of a sudden God intervenes? Instead of you seeing shame, you begin to laugh. <laughs> I did whatever would have brought shame with any testimony. Amen. God said, for your shame, whatever would have brought shame with end in testimony. Amen. For your shame, you will have glory. That is God's word for someone who says amen on this Easter day. Amen. Finally, from dead to life. Dead to what? Everybody threatened with dead. Now listen, if you have anybody right now struggling with life, set your heart for the person. Yesterday, one of my pastors brought his father's picture and said, see my father. Compassion well on me. You know that this is medically hopeless. He says, see my father. His kidneys are off, organs are off. The man was emaciated. He said, as I just said, God will restore him. Now listen, if you have somebody who is at the point of death, or you are at the point of death, resurrection will restore you back. Amen. I want us to worship. I will take this, the last one, death to life. As believers, the resurrection power restore our dominion and power over death. Is that true? Do you believe that Jesus is alive? How many believe he's alive? Do you believe he is alive? Yes, you believe it? Yes, now, hear yeah, what he says. Because I live, you shall live also. He said, because I live. Jesus speaking, he said, because I live, you shall live also. John 14, 19. The Bible declares, he said, be past it because I live. He said, yet a little while. And the world see me no more, but you see me. Because I live, you shall live also. Do you believe he's alive? What did he say? Because he's alive, you will be alive also. That's all the minute. Because he is alive, you'll be alive also. The only way you will die is if he has died. But he said, because I am alive, you will be alive also. Do you believe this word? How many believe this word? So me, because he is alive, I will be alive. Say it one more time. Say, dead could not hold him captive. That is the song you sing. For dead could not hold him captive. Even in the grave, Jesus is Lord. Even on the cross, even in the grave, he's Lord. Go ahead. My soul doth magnify. Magnify the Lord. And my spirit. And my spirit. With praise. Name. They brought a woman from the hospital. 
the doctors have said there's nothing they can do and they brought her to the front of the admin block even when I saw her you know as always see somebody in your heart would just say what is this the old man said well pastor there's nothing I can do doctors have said nothing they can do and we are just ministering like this on this resolution the thing was so fresh in my mind even when I prayed that if you should look at her so that my faith would not shake I just said, Jesus resurrected one, bring you back to life. And I went away. She stood on this altar. I couldn't recognize her. Just the following two days, I said, is it the same woman? She said, I came giving up to die. But look at me. Even me, when she was satisfied, I said, excuse me, is it the same person who stood? There's no way she couldn't walk. They carried her as a corpse to the front. The other man just brought her just for us to pray so that even me who was praying, let me open up. I refuse to look at her because if I look at her, my faith will grow. You don't, as pray as you pray, you don't look at the person. You don't move your eyes as in Jesus' name. Because if you look at the person, your faith will begin to struggle with the physical and the... So I don't know if I said that. Now, nah, listen. The same one has not changed. He said, if I live, you shall live also. Now everyone given up to die. Live in the name of Jesus. Say by the power of his resurrection, he is alive. alive. I will live. live. Say it a minute. If you're standing for someone, say by the power of his resurrection, because Jesus, you are alive. Call the person by name, this person will be alive. In the name of Jesus. And Jesus mighty name. In Hebrews chapter 2, 14 and 15. When HIV came, that time HIV had no cure. And one day, a pastor was standing with me. He said, Pastor, I don't pray for HIV people because I don't want to be touched by it. And I stood, I said, what do we do? He said, no, I, I don't go near them. I can't lay my hands on anybody. I said, and if we, the men of God, begin to run, who then, where is the hope? And I were holding a crusade at the Civic Center, Port Harcourt. And I said, what do I do, oh God? He said, you are praying for them as sickness. That's why they are not getting healed. Pray for them as dead people back to life. And he gave me Hebrews chapter 2, 14 and 15. I used that scripture at the Civic Center. All HIV, including a medical doctor, all of them turned negative that day. Everyone. Now listen, HIV now is no longer an issue because today they have permanent cure for it. But there are other terminal cases. You won't believe that diabetes is deadly. Very deadly. That diabetes, if you see some people, you think that is another thing. Diabetes is one deadly disease. This scripture today will bring you out of death. Amen. As much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same that through death, it might destroy him that had the power of death. That is the devil. To avoid confusion, he said, the one that had passed the power of death is who? The devil. He said, and delivered them with through fear of death. We are all their lives. So what brings death is fear. But if you are not afraid, I decree right now, everyone dead is threatening. You are out of it right now. <laughs> if death could not hold Jesus captive, I declare your liberty in the name of Jesus. <laughs> in Revelation 1.18, yeah, what about saying, and I'm he that liveth. This is God, Jesus speaking. He said, I'm he that what? And was dead, past tense. And behold, I am alive, not for one day, forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Who has the keys? Can the keys he has be used against us? No. Satan kind does not have the keys of death. So he does not determine when you and I go. We determine when we go. So from today, say, I cannot die untimely. Say it one more time. Say it like a child of God. Say it from the depth of your heart. Resurrection forbids that you and I die untimely. Dead as lost and lose his grief from us in the name of Jesus. Long ago I was threatened with dead, face to face with dead. And I stood on God's scriptures and I walked out of dead. 
Today, everyone that believes God's word, you are walking out of dead in the name of Jesus. If resurrection could bring the dead saints in Matthew 27, 51 to 53, if those who died years back, back years, could come out of the graves, are you dead? No, my God. <laughs> if the dead, like Isaiah, their bones, every flesh has decayed, but resurrection brought them back. Is that true? Let me read. That means if you now they told you you will not live, you will live. And behold, the veil of the 52 to 53 for time's sake. And the graves were what? Opened. And many bodies of the saints we slept. That was slept means we died. Arose. And came out of what? After what? So after resurrection, the Isaiah's and Jeremiah's, they came out. And they didn't just come out as spirit. They came out with flesh. How did flesh enter them? It's, and went into the holy city and appeared. If it was skeleton, people would have run. They appeared with flesh. If resurrection can bring decayed bodies back as human, then you are not dead yet. Ah. Can you take another song and then stir your faith up? Somebody is waking up from that sick bed in the name of Jesus. Because he lives. Is it the same song we we'll sing? I can face tomorrow because he is off here, he's gone. Off here, he's gone. I go, he my future. Jesus rose. The saints that slept thousands of years rose with him. That means even if you're on the bed of sickness right now, on a sick bed given up to die, resurrection has power to lift you up. If you believe God's word, you are walking out of that bed sound and healthy. It 
it is what you believe, God will perform. And I close. There was a man called Paul. In Acts chapter 14 verse 19, let me close with it. To 20. There came to the certain Jews from Antioch. Iconium, who persuaded the people and having stoned Paul. Take, having what? They stoned Paul. Drew him out of the city supposing he had been dead. Did you hear that? That means, before they, they said, that means they shook him like this. They discovered that he was not breathing. But Paul had deep revelation of resurrection of Jesus. His revelation level of resurrection power is too deep. How be it? As the disciples stood around about him, they were trying to pray. Say, what will happen? He stood up. He said, he what? That before they opened their mouth, even when they stoned him to that point, the revelation of that's what he said, that I may know him and the power of his. He had deep insight that he, they stoned him to a point that they thought he was dead, but the insight he had was too strong for him to die. He rose up and came what? The next day he departed. <laughs> Have you seen that, man? Listen, believer. Don't because somebody died say it can happen to anybody. No, it can't happen to you. They stoned Stephen. Stephen said, into thy head I commit my spirit. He died. Stephen's stoning was not up to Paul. Because Paul was the one that led them to stone Stephen. So when he came to Steve, it's Paul, they said, this man that stoned Stephen, stoned him. They stoned him, they said, they dragged him. That means they were dragging him, knowing that no life. But before they said they pray, he got up. If you have the power of his resurrection with deep inside, you can't die. You only die when it's time that you know you will die. Am I talking to you, sir? Dead has no power to terminate anyone's life untimely. Simply by the power of his resurrection. Nothing takes my life untimely. Say it and mean it. No sickness. No evil can terminate my life. Because Jesus is alive, I must be alive. Because he is alive, I will also be alive. Begin to declare it in faith. Begin to declare it in faith. Nothing can make me die untimely. I refuse to die. I will live. Because Jesus is alive, I will live like him. Open your mouth. By the resurrection of Jesus, I will live. I will not die. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus, mighty name, no one at the reach of my voice connected this assembly with die untimely. Yeah. Home and abroad, our children, everyone who genuinely loves us will never die untimely. Yeah. Those even listening to this message, dead has been shattered forever in the name of Jesus. 
Because he's alive, we will be alive. Amen. Dead could not hold him captive. Nothing could kill him. He came out gallantly, that's how you are coming out. Amen. At every grave, even doctors have given up on you to die, you are living right now. Amen. That dead is destroyed. Amen. You are bouncing back to life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If you can live, then dead businesses come back to life. Amen. Dead careers come back to life. Amen. Whatever has been dead destinies come back to life. Amen. Dead brains come back to life. Amen. Dead organs, important, come back to life. Amen. Anything dead in you, your body, come back to life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Holy Ghost said to me, I did not bother to call anything. I spoke to Lazarus with one word. And they speak one word and everything in their bodies are perfected. Now I decree everything in you come back to life in the name of Jesus. You come out in the name of Jesus. All that is you come back to life in the name of Jesus. Everything in your body is alive now. Somebody potent your body will jack back. Amen. Eyes that were given up, the eyes will begin to come life. Amen. Every organ in you will come out alive. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. You know what? We'll take three minutes to five minutes to praise God. <laughs> After the praise. I think I should make the altar call and we praise. Because he has given us victory. And we lift him higher. Now listen, the first step into enjoying the original power is salvation. So as many as received him to them, gave you power to become the sons of God. If you are not born again, give your life to Jesus wherever you are and be born again. Nobody should leave, please. When altar call is made, stop walking about. It's not, a good, it's not a good habit. You stay in everything. When it's time for water call, you now want to rush. Don't ever do that. That's a sign of disrespect to the Most High God. Don't ever move when altar call is made to go. If you are not born again, you can't enter into the power realm except you have accepted Jesus. Those who want to give their lives to Jesus, offer these prayers after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I accept you. As my personal Lord and Savior, I believe in my heart that you died and rose from there to save me. With my mind, I confess you. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' mind, in him. You offer that prayers. Don't sit with others. Keep standing while others take their seats. If today is your very first Sunday to worship with us, kindly stand. We want to welcome you specially. Kindly stand, want to welcome you. On behalf of the head of the church, Jesus Christ, I want to say to all of you standing, all our churches keep standing, that your life will never remain the same. Today, Easter Sunday, will mark the beginning of good things in your life. Every prophetic word declared from the first service to now, they will work for you. As you keep coming, your life will keep changing. Those around there, please, they will give you paper, fill that form, give it back to the officers close to you. And then those around the that we celebrate together in a warm handshake. Please, our preservers, preservers uh, squad, don't do like follow up before. It's not sharing things in church. No, that's not the essence of that squad. Please always attend to this book specially. We have noticed that you want to go back to the status quo just to share a book. No. The preserver squad must also sit up in all churches, including headquarters, make sure these souls are preserved. Not just giving them paper and you forget. If you don't do that, we we'll step in myself. Amen. Every pastor, please take it up. That's the, one of the greatest things you want to do. Souls must not be lost. Must not be... Because somebody, some of you are not even attending to souls. Just sit down on the altar like monument. No. Every pastor in every church, get up and see what is happening physically and observe. Don't sit and then come to the altar just to pray. No. We don't need an posing. We don't need animal what? We need animal serious. Make sure you're serious. 
Don't pose. Don't what? Don't pose. God bless you. It's a very serious matter to win souls. One, to preserve souls is a, and a preservation is very important. Nine, do, let me take another. We just praise and close. Let's take it from. Anything today? Okay, Thanksgiving. Okay, wait to. Okay. Let me announce. Maybe we take the Thanksgiving. All of us go dance now. Thank God. But God told me that we should praise Him. So I don't know. We'll praise our own. Day. You people come and thank your own. Please take this to close information. Good news. The commission have, we have a latest new a latest book, working latest book working in the supernatural. Working in the world. This book is a must read for everyone. Everybody have a copy, have as many copies as you can. Buy for people. Always buy knowledge. Always buy what? Don't say ah. The book they too expensive. I never chop. Every poor man, the first sign of a poor man is a man who hates knowledge. First sign of poverty is what? So who hates knowledge. Once you see somebody say, I never chop, now go buy a book, just know that it's a man who has settled for mediocrity. Such person can never be out of any situation. Satan will always buffet you and he will use your ignorance. Get to know what God has for you through this book. Is that clear? Everybody walking in the super, the supernatural controls the natural. The vents in natural control from where? Supernatural. Find out how you can operate in the supernatural. On Tuesday, we have home, uh, home fellowship. Attend at 6 p.m. Thursday will be the first midweek service in the month of April. Their team is excelling without limits. Excelling without limits. Saturday, we're all going for mass rally, global headquarters and all for the week of spiritual empowerment. Come with your cars at 8 a.m. in the morning. Sunday is praise for greater exploits. Praise for greater exploits. Their week of spiritual empowerment is started on the night. The reason is 13th of April, this church will be 27 years. Their team is wisdom for greater exploits. Remember oppression one week, one soul still continues for Jesus. Is that clear? Amen. The handbills are here. We'll share them on Saturday. Let's stand. This one is praise for the message. Bible school, get up. All of you stretch your hands towards them. Bible school, stand up. Members, stretch your hands towards them in all churches. Pray for them that they should go to the world and do exploits. Pray for them the way you want someone to pray for you. Pray for them in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for your students. Send them forth as arrows in your mighty hand. They will be unstoppable. They shall go and do exploits globally in the name of Jesus. Subdue nations and take over. The same oil upon the commission and upon my life rest upon all Bible school students and all senders in the world in the name of Jesus. Fresh oil and fresh grace over their lives. In the precious name of Jesus. Every one of you will carry the same unction. Same grace. Same power. Shall flow through you. In the name of Jesus. In all centers and all churches. Not one person will fall by the wayside. May no one graduate to a Bible school ever miss heaven. The greatest that none of you will miss heaven. At the end of your chapter in this world. We all make heaven. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right, let's praise God for three, four minutes, and then you come for Thanksgiving. The Lord has given us victory. We will lift him again. Jehovah. You should learn in life is to obey God. He said to me, let the thank God use this one to close. He said, this one should be for closing, and we say grace. 
He said, after this, don't do anything again. So it's better to obey him. If I hear God, no matter what I do. So those who are born in March, married in March, give your life March, come and thank God. After you think of our own.
When God has done anything for you, you owe him thanks. He has kept those born in March alive, kept those who married in March alive, and kept those who gave their lives in March. They've come out to say to God, thank you. Both in churches and online all over the world. May the thanksgiving of today mark the beginning of greater things in your life. Anything you thank God for multiplies. You have come to say to him, thank you for life. That means you will live long, long, and long, and long in the name of Jesus. Amen. For husbands and wives who are giving thanks, there will be no one who will be a widow. Amen. There will be no one who will be a widower. Amen. For those who gave their lives to Jesus, you will never backslide. Amen. For those who are born biologically this month, I decree as your day social strength be. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the Lord keep every one of you giving thanks all over the world. Your own time is so special. You are thanking God on a day like this, Easter Day. May those born in March, married in March, gave their life in March, keep marching forward. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will see this time next year. Amen. You will see many more years. Amen. And all the prophecies on this Easter Day work for all of you. Amen. Lord bless and keep every one of you. Amen. Cause his face to shine upon you. Amen. He'll be gracious unto all of you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. If any of you was going weak, by this Thanksgiving, your strength is renewed. Amen. You at 80, you'll be walking like someone with 40. Amen. At 100, you have the strength of 50. Amen. As I've declared, so be it. Amen. The Lord accept your thanks Amen. and bless you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And let God's people say, Amen. Drop your offering, and then the church will now praise God for four or five minutes as we are led. Drop your offerings, and God accept your thanks.
listen. The last, hold it. Hold it. The last words I'm about to share will not be mere words. When I speak them, I'm speaking from how I'm led. It will be one word. May the joy of Easter never cease in our families. May the joy of Easter never cease in our career. May the joy of Easter never cease in your businesses. May the joy of Easter never cease in your academics. The joy of Easter will continue to go from strength to strength in all our affairs. In the name of Jesus. Whatever wants to terminate this joy, that thing will be terminated. I repeat, by the anything that wants to terminate the joy of Easter in our life, God will terminate that evil. This joy shall be forever. May the prophetic dance God said we should give become a dance for the whole year. Everyone will have a reason to rejoice. And so shall it be. In Jesus name. Amen. Now I didn't say God said to me. But he also gave us wisdom. You can't be talking about the greatest event of life. And not be able to do something. Today those who don't have. And God has blessed you. Give them something to eat. You don't have to. Meet for the best to beg you. Are you hearing me now? Somebody you know cannot afford. Buy food. Send to the person. If it's cash even as you're going. Say oh boy take buy food. You will know. The person does not have to come and beg you. Are you going to sit down? Young person, eat this food. Are you going to sit down? Take the person to go and eat. Today, share with somebody. Not share with wrong motive. Don't carry one fine girl and say one share with her. That's not what I want. If the, if the girl wants to marry her, tell her I want to... Uh, no, I didn't say share. Look for somebody who cannot afford. Who cannot? And share. Now I say share. Papa say, okay, share. Nobody can want to talk. I say share with a pure, pure motive. But everyone should learn to be a giver today. Are you joyful today? Yes, Bible school said they will lay hands on you for a few minutes. May grace that answer this company answer to all of you. Amen. It's as if we should not go. It's as if we should not go. Amen. God bless you. May your life be beautified by God. May your life be beautified. Amen. I enjoy favor. All the things I wear, people will show them for me. Show everything for me. That is how God will beautify you. Amen. Favor will never cease happening in your life. Amen. Anywhere you go, people will favor you. Amen. You will not need to ask. You will not need to beg. God will favor you. You heard me say I was at the airport. Somebody carried dollars and put it in my hand. You like that? Bundle. No prearrangement. Inside. Early morning as early as past 6 a.m. That is how this Easter season will mark the beginning of surprises. Amen. You will not beg God will give you more than enough. Amen. My God bless you. The God that we are celebrating is resurrection. Become the God that will change your story. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. Come back this week with testimonies. Amen. I lift my hands. Whatever is in your heart that I may not be able to say receive all now. I repeat, there are things that maybe you have that I don't know about, but the God that we are celebrating this resurrection, all that is in redemption that you lack, all I declare and deliver to you. Amen. Who is the person joy is spinning? You are using as who is the person who joy is spinning? There's so much joy is spinning. Joy, your joy is spinning you. Who is the person? Lift your hand where you are. Your joy is spinning you. Who is the person? Are you the one? Who is the person whose joy is spinning? That's your teeth is spinning you. I heard God. Are you the one? You, come. I want to use him. See what God would do now. 
Everybody is there. Be granted. He told me that somebody whose joy is paining him. Just come, come, come. No, let the one with glasses come. Just you, just wait. The one glasses come, come. Just one, come. Stand here. Put your hand where the joy is paining you. Just put your hand like this. Don't need to. Don't look here. Look me. Just put your hand like this. Put your hand. Don't bother. Put your hand. Just put your hand there. They say with me, the resurrected Jesus. Give me a new job. Give me a new job. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Press it, you'll be shocked. What will happen? Press that place where pain you before. Press it, you'll be shocked. Press it. Press it. You'll be sure there'll be no pain. Press. Do like this. Do like this. There'll be no pain. I hear God. Do any pain? <laughs> eh? No pain, sir. No pain? Yes, sir. No pain? No pain. Yes. Now listen. I hear God. God said to me, everything they lack. I'll give to them. <laughs> Let your heart be set. What is it you want in one minute? I stand. He gave me this illustration. He said, use this man as a point of contact for them. What is it you want? Lift your hands with expectation. He knows what you need. Now, whatever you lack that you desire is given to you on this Easter day. <laughs> Let nothing distract you. Whatever is missing in your life as part of redemption that you are supposed to enjoy as a benefit for his resurrection. Now take the full package in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is done. Amen. Don't doubt it. If it's healing, you have received. Amen. Whatever it is, it is yours. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Say, I have received it. I thank you, Father, for giving me that which I desire. In Jesus' name. Grace together. May the grace.